Howdy, hey everybody. What's going on? How's everyone doing? Late. It's 2.31 right now for my time, so definitely not late. I was late for 0 0.001 milliseconds. Y'all are impatient. Hello, everyone. Lots of regulars in here, as usual. How am I? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, been pretty busy lately, got a lot of stuff going on, but doing well. Okay, Gabriel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, pretty chill, Phil. Thank you very much for the donation. Time to shadow the hedgehog. Indeed, it is time to shadow the hedgehog. I have not played Shadow Reloaded before. I have messed around with it a little bit, done a couple levels, um, but I've never like played through it fully. So that's what we're going to be doing today, so I can really look at it and see how good it is as an improvement over the original game. When will the Lost World review come? Tomorrow. I just finished editing the audio for it, and then after the stream, I'm gonna finish editing the video, and it will go up tomorrow. So there. Everyone shut up and stop asking. I, uh, wasn't doing it because I wanted to play the 3DS version, uh, and do both of them in the same video, but... I started working on the video, and it's way too long for that, so the 3DS version is gonna be its own separate video. This is gonna be just dedicated to the main Lost World and how much it sucks. Uh, what Reloaded change in the game? It changes a lot of stuff. It changes the visuals a little bit, it changes the controls a little bit, it uh, changes the mission requirements. It makes it so you only have to beat the game three times to get access to the last story. Uh, and I think beating the last story immediately unlocks expert mode uh, and a bunch of other stuff. You're pretty sure my review of Lost World isn't good? Wow, you haven't even seen the video and I'm already getting criticism. Damn. It's, it's getting tough out there to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Man, Pariah's Sonic Forces video was just awful. I hated it. <laughs> Lost World is not that bad. Oh, it is. It is. It definitely is. Oh, you mean it's negative, not bad. Okay, I see. Which version of All Hail Shadow do I enjoy? Obviously the Crush 40 version. That's clearly the best one. Best song in Shadow? Uh, you know, a lot of the music in this game is just generally really good. Like, I Am is really good. All Hail Shadow is really good. Never Turn Back is really good. It's really tough to pick uh, a favorite from this game. At least in terms of the vocal tracks. In the in-level stuff, honestly, that's hard too, because... A lot of the music in this game, I think, is some of uh, Sonoe's best. This and Heroes, I think, for in-game, in-level music, is the best he's ever done. Not into All Hell Shadow? Listen to the Crush 40 version. It's much, much better. I am all of me clears though. I mean, it's great. It's it's a really good song. I I legitimately like the super heavy rock of this game, even if it is kind of silly and stupid. <laughs> Did I listen to the cut songs from the game? Uh, yeah, I've listened to them before. Uh, it's been a while. I don't really remember a lot of it though.
Sweet, really? You're gonna fucking say that Shadow the Hedgehog is Soul? This fucking trend-chasing piece of shit? <laughs> really? Really? Did I know there's a co-op mod for this game? I do, and I know that they're currently trying to work to make it compatible with Shadow Reloaded, which is super cool. I like it even if it's silly and stupid, sounds like Sonic in a nutshell. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Shadow the Hedgehog is earnest. Can I say the same about Forces or Lost World? I I can't say that Shadow the Hedgehog is earnest. I I don't know what you're talking about. I would say that Shadow the Hedgehog is quite similar to Lost World and Forces, actually. In that it's, what the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Shadow the Hedgehog breaks the cannon? Yeah, whatever. Soul Forces. <laughs> there we go. You stand by the fact that if this game was about Fang going against the Sonic cast instead of being about Shadow, then it would have received as bad as it was? I mean, Fang doesn't have a gun either. They determined that giving Fang a gun would be inappropriate for Sonic, so they gave him a pop gun. It's almost like putting guns in Sonic is a stupid idea, and it contradicts the previously established tone and vibe of the series. Almost like. <laughs> oh, Frankie Hedgehog, you were here for Horror Pac-Man? That was my first stream. That feels like an eternity ago. Shadow the Hedgehog is better when you don't play it. Change my mind. I actually enjoy Shadow the Hedgehog. I think the game can be quite fun. When, like always, once you learn, it's bullshit. But when Mario holds a gun and Rabbids, it's fine. Yeah, it's like a cartoon laser gun. He's not using a Glock. Sonic Heroes is worse than Shadow the Hedgehog. I... Well... You know, this game is a lot more polished than Sonic Heroes is, but I think it's more fun. I think Sonic Heroes is more fun than Shadow the Hedgehog. Mario was at AK-47. If he was in Fortnite, then we could do that. Mario the Plumber would be lit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Mario the human? Because it's always the species. Well, I guess it's not always the species, because you have, like, being the dynamite. So, I guess it can be a title or whatever. Mario the Plumber the YouTuber? I've never heard of him. Mario the Mario? There you go. Mario the Super. Alright, how about we get started, eh? How about we get started and play some Shadow the Hedgehog? So I do with that. And then some of this. And that should work, hopefully. Did that work? Is it working? Um... Yes, there we go. It worked. It worked! We'll play the intro. We'll play the intro. The beautiful intro. That's not stupid at all. <laughs> but it is pretty awesome. How's the volume, by the way? Let me know if it's too loud or anything. Good? I don't know if I can trust y'all, because last stream y'all said it was good, and then I went back, and the game was way too loud. I want the game to be lower than my voice so you can hear me well. 
did Lost World have an intro like this? Did Forces? Nope. I mean, part of that sweet is because the games had lower budget than this game. Okay, I'm trusting you all this time, which apparently is a mistake that I should not do, but I will do it. If I want to decrease volume by 5%, okay, I'll, I'll decrease it teensy bit. We'll do that. Uh, many fans view Shadow the Hedgehog as a guilty pleasure? I don't, I don't care. I like the game. It's stupid, but whatever. <laughs> Everyone's just singing in chat. Better animated than like all 2010s, 2020s? Uh, trying to think. I think the, uh, the intro of Sonic Colors looks very nice. All right, let's get started on this game. We're not watching all the cutscenes, I don't care. But was it in 2009? No, Sonic Colors was 2010. Hmm. So one immediate change with Shadow Reload is you can light speed dash during this. To speed this section up, which is very cool. Another change is uh, you don't have to do those little, like, cutscenes when you run into Sonic and friends and shit. It, it just doesn't do that, so no gameplay interruptions. Uh, I guess for the first playthrough, we'll just we'll just try to get to the end of all the levels. We'll do the thing that everyone does the first time they ever play this game. Where they don't know what missions are, and they don't understand the game, and they just uh, complete all the levels, and they go, what, what was the story? I'm confused. I love ridiculous speed in this game. Like, a lot of people complain that Sonic Heroes is too fast, and then for this game, they're like, what if we made it even faster? But then it gives you, like, stiffer uh, momentum-based controls, which I actually like. I gotta do 100%. That's definitely not happening on stream. Although I think 100%ing this game is not terrible at all. Compared to all the previous 3D Sonic games, and many of the following ones. I guess the speed makes sense given the Shadow has the air shoes. I mean, Sonic and Shadow are the same speed, so it didn't really make a difference. How much am I going to do today? Well, it's three playthroughs to get the last story. I think I can definitely do that easily. And then from there, we'll see how much time we have left. Sound effects are a little loud, sounded better in the menu. Okay, I'll lower it a bit more. Try that. Another thing the Shadow Reloaded does that I appreciate is they fix Shadow's uh, fur, spikes, whatever it is. He's black now instead of brown. Like he's supposed to be. I don't know what the hell happened with this game initially. Expert mode is way shorter. Would I try it? Is expert mode shorter? What do they do to it? Is it not just play through all the levels? Or are you saying expert mode just in general is shorter than the normal game? Because I know I've, I've done expert mode. I really like it. Do the cutscenes look different? Uh, just in that shadow is black now and they fixed the, his textures. Yeah, sweet. That actually makes sense to me, because this game has a very dark color palette overall. So maybe the brown helped Shadow stick out from the environment. Man, this game feels... or this level looks like I'm playing a fucking shooter from 2005. This looks like it could be a Tribes tile set. Which is the goal, so it's true. That was the goal. 
Why don't we just play expert mode instead? Uh, cause why not? I don't hate playing the missions in this game. Especially I want to see how Shadow Reloaded modifies them to make them less annoying. By the way, how's the volume now that I lowered it again a little bit? Is that better? Not too loud with the sound effects and everything? It's good? Alright, perfect. There's a new route. Look at this shit. They replaced the keys with red rings in this and they created like a whole bunch of new areas. I gotta do this platforming. Like, what's this? This is crazy. This ain't no Shadow the Hedgehog. Damn it. I tried to weave through. platforming in my 3D Sonic game, it's pretty rare, especially these days. Damn it, the camera controls are reversed because game, because Japan. It is not a Japan thing, it's just, why do fucking developers invert the goddamn camera in video games? Especially in the 2000s, you don't know what you're doing. Windy Valley, but for Chad's, this level is absolutely better than Windy Valley. 100%. Did they buff the spin dash? No. Uh, they did buff the slide you can do, though, because you can, like, go in and out of it uh, without, like, it fucking your speed up like it does normally, which is very nice. Is this on Dolphin? Of course it is. I mean, it's running in HD. You cannot change the camera? I don't think in the settings, no. I'd have to do it in the emulator. But we're already playing, so I'm just gonna put up with it. Yo, let's go. Let's travel five feet. For some reason, you thought you couldn't mod Dolphin games? I mean, Dolphin's just an emulator. You're modding the game itself, and then Dolphin just runs it. Just like it would the real game. Can you use the D-pad to change or move the partner characters? Yes, you can. Do I think this game for its time was overly edgy or fair for its time? I mean, I think that the direction they took was stupid, and they shouldn't have done it. Prison Island, somehow, even though this island was blown up in Sonic Adventure 2. But it's back, somehow, because canon. You mean it's acid because it blew up? Did you see that explosion in the cutscene in SA2? That island would not exist anymore. Oh yeah, this thing has its controls very changed. Oh, they... Replace the double jump with, like, a, a downward slam. That's interesting. I don't think you can normally do this part with this thing. But okay, sure. Game is good now? Uh, this is better. I think. That's what I'm trying to see with this playthrough. How, how improved is it? 
the island looks abandoned and left to rot. There are black arms in the prison cells. Gun is clearly operating here still. This is a change, I think. Uh, he put the goal ring at the back, at the end of the level, instead of, like, at the middle point, which I approve of. I never like how sometimes the goal ring is not at the end of the level, so if it's part of the level, you just don't do. Poison floor is just an aesthetic? I mean, the poison floor is for gameplay purposes. Give me my dark power. I want to become Dark Jack. Use the power of Dark Eco. I just realized that that's probably exactly what these are supposed to be, right? Look, see? There are black arms locked up. Gun is still working here. Who's Dark Jack? From Jack and Daxter. Oh no, okay, so it is still here. I was just forgetting how long the level was. But why is there plants? Because whatever. Because <laughs> I didn't give a shit. This game really is trying to be Jack 2. I mean, Jack 2 is just trying to be, hey, what if we make a platformer, but we make it dark and edgy because GTA 3 is just doing that same thing. Yeah, that cutscene's a little broken and widescreen. <laughs> it's just they put a image, they put a JPEG in front of the camera. You enjoyed this more than Jack 2, to be fair? So did I. I do not like Jack 2. I think that game is not good. Sky Troops is fucking awesome. Honestly, I think the stage is a bit overrated, which feels weird to say for anything in Shadow the Hedgehog, but people always go on about this level. And it's a fine level, but I wouldn't say it's particularly any better than any other level in this game. I don't think that's there normally. The music? This game is full of great music. I'm not gonna make that. There we go. I might have made that, actually. Reusing level assets. Classic. Bitch. Ah, oh, fuck. Almost died. These little fuckers. Look, I used the punch. I used it for something. Did they fix the mech? Uh, I think that they uh, changed the controls on a little bit, and they made it so you can move when you hover with it. So it feels more like uh, the SA2 mechs, I guess. Do I think the story of this game would work with a classic Sonic tone? Absolutely not. No. What? Shadow in and of himself does not fit the classic Sonic tone. Yeah, you can move when uh, hovering with this. Oh, shit. I did. Give me your gun. Just look at the shadow costume in Superstars. I mean, what about it? Other than it just looks weird. 
Silver would fit classic Sonic more than Shadow, if anything. I think if we're talking about, like, modern characters that you can put into the classic, like, style of Sonic with minimal issues, I think Cream is the easiest one to put in, because you don't even really need to modify her character whatsoever. Maybe change her design to be a little simpler, and that's about it. Blaze as well. I don't. I wouldn't agree about Blaze because conceptually, what Blaze is being an alternate dimension version of Sonic. That's a very, uh, that's a very modern Sonic-y type thing to do. Marine? Yeah, Marine is fine. Again, you have to simplify your design a bit. Rouge could fit in classic Sonic. Yeah, I think Rouge could fit in. Uh, pretty okay. I would say tone it down on the sexiness, though. That would that would probably have to go. Big would fit? Yeah, I guess big would fit as well. What 3D Sonic game did Loop de Loops the best? Uh, Sonic Utopia? <laughs> is that is that a valid answer? Oh yeah, these uh, were made so you don't need the keys anymore. You can just take these routes. Having fun? I am. I mean, yeah, just playing Shadow the Hedgehog with a couple of improvements, as of now, at least. How's it going playing your favorite Sonic game, but with a mod? So far, so good. I mean, I already like this game, so... Kind of just doing better for me. Best official 3D Sonic game, Generations, if you count that. When you think about it, 3D Sonic never had real loops. That is correct. I play Panzer Dragoon, uh, like once, but it's really not my kind of game. That's another improvement, by the way, uh, in this game compared to normal Shadow the Hedgehog. The first time you play through a level, you have to uh, uh, list, watch all the cutscenes. And they were like, hey, that's stupid, and now you don't have to do that. Sure, not the only one that thinks this, but they kind of overdid Omega's voice modulation in this game. It sounds bad. You can barely understand what he's saying. I'm kind of wrong about the term badnik not being part of the Japanese lore as the term is used in Sonic 2 Japanese manual, is it? Um I don't know what's faster here. So I'm just gonna go this way. of a dumb power, right? Does anyone else think this is a dumb power? It's just like, don't play the game for a bit. Very stupid. 
And especially, it's not useful if you're trying to do the missions. I don't know what they were thinking with that design. Do you like the power to play as little of Shadow as possible? <laughs> well, you could just not play the game if you wanted that. Should Shadow stories only have serious, uh, uh, only have serious stories, or can they be more lighthearted and fun adventure stories? I would say Shadow can have more lighthearted stories, but they do need to have a degree of like they should never be goofy. They, they can be lighter in terms of, like, the what the story is, but the tone should always be, I think, relatively... I don't want to say serious, but kind of... I don't know. I'm struggling to think of what I'm trying to say here. Oh yeah, this amazing boss. My audio is breaking, is it? It was breaking earlier. Is it okay now? Dramatic? I, yeah, I guess a bit more dramatic. I'm trying to think of the right word to describe it. Wow, an E for beating the boss in 30 seconds? What does this game want from me? <laughs> That's definitely not what it's like in the original game. What the heck is Shadow Reloaded? It is a mod for Shadow the Hedgehog that improves the game. This is some pretty good music on this level. Look, they've made the rail grinding good finally because you can uh, switch rails adequately. It's unfortunate that they ruined it in every other way. These lasers aren't here normally, I'm pretty sure. Missed the red ring. Oh well, whatever. The squatch and stretch in the animations is great. It's honestly a little jarring, I think, because it's such like a cartoony, goofy thing for a game with this tone. But it does look pretty good. Okay, not pick that up. Normally you can pick that up. I guess not. Oh yeah, there's normally lava here if you do the generator. be more appropriate in Heroes? Yeah, I think so. Although, talking about, like, Squatch and Stretch animation in Sonic, I really don't like it uh, in, I think it's Sonic Forces he does it, uh, where Sonic, when he jumps, uh, the jump ball, like, squashes and stretches. I actually don't like that. I think that looks bad. Man, Eggman is just fucking talking constantly. Oh, well, hey, Omega. Now you can talk constantly. You think it's in Lost World? Well, in Lost World, I, th that has the worst jump ball of them all, in my opinion. In Lost World, uh, Sonic just turns into a blue sphere with no detail whatsoever. I think it looks awful in that game. Just mash the flip button and you just accelerate infinitely for some reason. No balancing, no anything, just, just hit the button repeatedly. And look at this. Look at this shit. And I was going so fast, I flew off to my death. Amazing. Although there was a thing up there.
So it wanted me to, like, jump with all that speed. Look at that. Shadow Reloaded taking advantage of this weird shit in this game. Doctor. Adventure jump wall without glow or frontiers jump wall? Um... I like the, the SA1 jump wall where it's like, it's like the classic where it's like swapping between a, a ball of them spinning and then, uh, you know, the actual character. I also do like the jump balls in uh, Heroes and Shadow, this like aura thing that they started doing with SA2. Ah, what the fuck? Homing attack. Hello? Now I'm not gonna get my shadow powers. Fucking rings. Fucking rings. Oh, can I get, uh, guns here? Yeah. This boss sucks. So can I even shoot Eggman here? Yeah, no, I can't really shoot him, so I can't use infinite ammo for this. Just chaos blast him a couple times, I guess. Damn, he was going too fast. He actually got away. Motherfucker. Fuck. Dead. Hit the leg. You didn't know there were weapons in this boss? There might not be normally. That might have been added and reloaded, but... If you can't actually damage him... Oh, you can shoot him. You have to hit him in the top, in his cockpit. Okay. Okay, so you can use the guns. So you could probably kill that boss in, like, 30 seconds, then. How do I think an interaction with Cream and Shadow will go? Uh, I'd be surprised if those characters ever interacted with each other. <laughs> For some reason, that's just a thing in Shadow in the Sonic series. Many characters just never have anything to do with each other whatsoever. <laughs> so what should we do here? Should we go Hero Root or Dark Root? I saw Dark. So I'm gonna go dark. We're gonna kill all the humans. Fuck you, Sonic. Maximum edge, exactly. So I think, uh, with Shadow Reloaded, they adjusted the, uh, the amounts so you don't have to kill every single enemy. Oh no, that's a friend. Don't kill him. Why did I decide to play this game? Uh, because playing Sonic games on the stream seems like it makes sense for my channel, Mo. And I like this game, so why not? 
I've already played the other uh, 3D Sonic games of this era. This is the only one left. I'm not streaming the storybook games, by the way. That's not happening. Can I explain what this mod is? It's a general improvement mod for uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. It does a lot of things. Do Mario Galaxy? I might do Mario Galaxy. The thing is, that game is fucking long. The Galaxy games, both of them. If you want to get all the stars, it takes fucking forever. Especially Galaxy 2. Mario Sunburn flashbacks? I mean, what? I did that in two streams in a bit. And it only took that third stream because, uh, uh... Of the game breaking. There we go. I have murdered all the humans, like a true hero. They added red rings. It's just a model swap for the keys, but they did change around their positions. Which is good, because getting the keys sucked in Shadow. Does this mod improve the game as much as PO6 improves Sonic 06? Not as much, because it is still the same game, but it does improve it quite a bit. What, Shadow Reload is this an HD port? It's a mod for Shadow the Hedgehog. Man, do people not know about this? I've talked about it in my uh, Best Ways to Play Sonic Games video. Oh, you know what, Lego Boy? You're not wrong. The storybook games could lead to funny moments, especially Zig Rings. But man, I don't wanna. <laughs> Music here is very good. This is the first you've ever heard of Reloaded? What the hecky, man? What are the missions here? It's destroy the core, find the chaos emerald. Okay, I guess we'll do the dark mission. I guess we'll do that. Why is Rouge purple in this game? What? Is Rouge purple? Palette's off? Oh, you mean for, like, her outfit? Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. They just did a different color thing. Music in this level slaps is pretty good, yes. Also, a much cooler looking cyberspace than what we got in Sonic Frontiers, right? Yeah, this is actually original. Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, we all know why cyberspace is the way it is in Sonic Frontiers because they were reusing assets because money. But I was thinking, uh, what would have been much cooler if they wanted to do the whole, like, cyberspace is a recreation of your memories or whatever? Instead of it being, like, Sonic and Friends bullshit memories, it should have been, like, the memories of the ancients of their home planet, and it was all, like, alien-looking environments. That would have been much cooler. That's very nice that there's now holes in those, so you can go around them and it doesn't take fucking forever. Oh, those are also sped up. And there's that little thing to launch you up faster. Great improvements here. Great improvements. What the fuck? Why is that there? 
I was like, oh, it wants me to light speed down. Oh! The fucking bullshit thing. Don't fall for it, kids. Passivity trap, but I have to be active to hit that. I need to do the light speed dash. Better to not do the thing than to do it. What is this, Sonic Frontiers level design? Do I like Heroes more or less than Shadow? I like Heroes more, but I do like this game. I needed to plan ahead. Yeah, I could probably have made it work if I knew what was gonna happen there, but I was like, it'll be fine, right? It was not fine. You can hold A to go faster than the circuits? Wow, you can? Somehow I've never done that. Shit. There we go. I knew you could do it when you're riding the things. Oh yeah, you can go wait. Holy shit. That's gotta be a shadow reloaded thing, right? That's not normal. Oh yeah, I gotta go here's. There's no way that's normal? Yeah, that's way too fast. No game developer would say that's okay. Oh, look at this. Look at that. These red rings are way better than the keys. Holy shit. These things are a threat now. The original key was there? Was it? Okay, I don't remember then. I don't remember that platforming. Are the keys needed for 100%? Uh, I mean, it depends what you define as 100%. You don't have to get them to get expert mode, so whatever that means to you. You got them all, so did I. It sucked. No! No! Okay, wasn't too bad. Got lucky there. Just got the new Prince of Persia. I seriously need to get on that. Oh, I know. I everyone is saying that game is sick as fuck, and it looks sick as fuck, and I definitely want to get it. Ubisoft Montreal is like the only good developer at Ubisoft. Fuck, not again. Oh, Shadow, why do you have to jump there? Why do you do this to me? I should have added the jump after you get hit. That would have been nice. That is a nice feature in the adventure games. There we go. There we go. Uh, what about Ubisoft Milan? They made the Mario Plus Rabbids games? Never played them, so I don't know. Oof. You're surprised it's getting a free update and a paid story DLC, is it? I didn't hear about any of that, but that's cool. It's funny how this game is literally Heroes 2 in so many uh, ways, yet it's so tonally different. Yeah, it's like they were going to make the sequel to Sonic Heroes, and then they were like, but what about Grand Theft Auto 3? Oh my god, the only time Shadow and Amy have ever interacted, ever. <laughs> SA2? Shadow doesn't remember that. Or give a shit about it.
fuck. Oh, this stage is so strange. It is. This will keep going with dark missions for now. This is sped up. But I'm still faster. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing uh, in Sonic games to have, like, vehicles and shit you can ride, but it's all slower than just doing it yourself manually. Oh, there's a lantern around here. Did I already miss it? I may have already missed it. Whoops. Oh, isn't it, like, above? Yeah, I think it is. A little weird. It's fine. I can just flip the camera, right? Yeah, you do that. Yeah, there we go. Still do spin dash jumps in this game. These parts are boring. This game has better slope jumps than most Sonic games. Yeah, it does. I mean, slope jumps in Heroes work pretty well as well. Melee weapons on vehicles, that's definitely a major improvement. Yeah. Also has this weird thing that they did for melee weapons in this game, where when you hit the attack button, it no longer makes Shadow swing. What it does is you hold it, and now it's just an active hitbox. And I think you have to hit a different button? Yeah, you have to hold Z, and then you can do swings. Weird. They also added a thing where if you hold Z, check this out. Oh, is it not Z? Is it a different button? You can choose to not do homing attacks and instead air dash. There we go, it's, it's L. Yeah, I can not homing attack something if I don't want to, which is nice. The series is just weird, man. It is. Can I just make that? Uh, not really. I have to go back. Forget how you get the thing to spawn. I, I, I might be able to just make it. Yeah, you can just make it. Oh yeah, that's a dead end. Ah, oh, hello. Am I gonna do Sonic Boom for Sonic was always good? I don't know, because I've not played the Sonic Boom games. I think I missed uh, one of the things. Uh, do I think the creators of DMC used this game as inspiration for their awesome combat? Uh, no. <laughs> think it's here? Maybe? Oh, they sped that thing up so it can actually catch up with you and be on the screen. And it killed me. No wrong way. Up. Is it to the right? I don't even have a thing anymore. I need to get a torch.
That's where cream is. Well, that's where cheese is. No, no, no. It's it's forward. But I don't have a thing. I need a torch again. Fuck it. We're just gonna do normal then. So don't go too fast here now, because the thing will break and kill your ass. Oh, it still killed my ass anyway. Teleport back. Too much work. Don't care that much. We'll just do a dark mission later. This seems a little problematic now, this thing. This was just never a problem before. I'm just gonna try to go as fast as possible and hope I outrun it. Yeah, what the fuck? Do I need to hit the, uh, the, the dash rings? That might be it. Normally, you just ignore those things. Does it work like Heroes where you hold down the button? No, if you just match, it'll just go faster and faster and faster. Swap rails, dummy? Yeah, of course. How could I not know that I'm supposed to go to the dash rings that I can't see? Obviously, that's what I'm doing wrong. Uh, Cyber Shrooms, thank you very much for donation. You totally forgot Eggman had a fucking skeleton monster in his basement? Well, according to him, he didn't know about that, so... That, that was just there. What do I plan to play next outside of Sonic? Uh, well, Blinks 2 is on the docket. That'll happen when it happens. Um... And I got other stuff I want to do. Some Binding of Isaac, probably. Some other things. I don't remember off the top of my head. Eli, thanks for donation. Uh, there's a new mod manager for Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Well, I know about the, the new SA1 mod manager, but does it work for SA2 now? Because they said they were doing that, but it, uh, it hadn't happened yet. Now it's just a combined SA mod manager? Yeah, that's what they said they were doing with it. That's cool. I'll have to update that on the spreadsheet. Uh, did I realize I'm gonna play the Doom stage because of the neutral ending? You know, that stage is bad. Well, we'll get to see how Reloaded improves it. Uh, what are some things from this game they should take notes for in future Shadow gameplay? I don't think you need to take notes from anything at all, ever. If you just have ideas, just do your ideas. Whoa. This stage don't normally look like this. Okay, what are the missions here? Save the rescue, the researchers, kill all the guns, or just get to the end. This level can be a giant-ass pain. I guess we'll do the dark mission. We'll try that. We'll see how much of a hopefully not pain in the ass it is. Hate the inverted camera! Nice, this game has a retranslated mod. Well, the subtitles are still the same, but uh, you can enable the Japanese voices. I think this just leads back to the beginning, right? Yeah. Am I gonna add the Werehog combat fix to the spreadsheet? Uh, I'm not aware of that. I'm gonna have to look into it. Uh, 
Oh, there's nothing here of value. I don't need none of that. No subtitles are different, are they? Oh, the, the subtitles are different? I don't think there's anything there to do. Famous last words. Remember that moment for when we get back. What the fuck? I don't remember any of this from this level. What the hell? This is definitely not in this game normally. Is the area you unlock for getting five keys? Is it? I do not recognize this area whatsoever. This is crazy. Interesting. Makes you wish the whole level had sections like that. It was pretty cool. Definitely better than just like walking through these fucking corridors. I think this goes forward, so I have to head up there. You love at the end of this game that Eggman just freaking dies. Yeah, that's always weird. Is that is that what's happening? Is Shadow killing him? That seems to be the implication, but that seems too stupid for them to do that. Also, these elevators are sped up, thank god. I think that's the end of the level, yeah. So, we'll not take the easy route, the less miserable route. We'll keep searching for guys to murder. Uh, which way is forward? Not this way. This being made entirely out of a bunch of, like, reused assets makes it very hard to navigate and keep track of where you've been and where you haven't. Um... Oh. Could you just destroy... You couldn't just destroy those before, right? Like, have I been here before or not? I mean, I can tell because there are guys, but it seems like I'm going backwards now. I guess that area spit me out somewhere. Weird. I don't know. Okay, I can't destroy that one myself. The imagery of a bunch of human soldiers rushing at Shadow the Hedgehog with knives while he holds a gun is all the wrong in every way you could imagine. There's some guys back here. I'm getting lost, but I only got three guys left, which should be very doable. This level is 10 out of 10 because you could get the knife, is it? 
Okay, I think that was that from before. So I think we're like back on track, but going forward now. I just need to find the last man that needs to be murdered. There he is! That's not even a man, it's a robot. There we go. Yeah, I definitely didn't go to all the areas of the level with dudes, so they definitely lowered the number there. Thank God. That wasn't that bad at all. Come on, A rank. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? Do I know spin dashing down slopes actually increases your speed and reloaded? Probably not. Just, that's just how the physics of this game work. How do you get an A? I don't know. They made the... I, that's one of the changes of Reloaded is they made the ranks harder to get. But holy shit, they made the ranks fucking ridiculous, apparently. Yo, reuse music. Hype. Shit. I would, I would expect that we could see, like, uh, Bigfoot or Flying Dog or something like that in Sonic 3, right? Anyone else think that? I think that'll happen. Duh. Hey, I need to grab your gun, sir. Get out of my way. get to uh, trigger my dark form, my dark jack. My voice was heard in the existing mod, now the shadow's black now? Yes! Shadow Reloaded fixed that problem. I'm very glad about it. Have I ever played Geometry Dash? No. Dude, these ranks are, like, impossible. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I didn't do an amazing job in that boss, but it didn't feel like I took forever. Oh, this is the SA2 level. This is the level where they recreated, like, specific level design. Oh, what the hell? That's not there normally. Like, look! This is this is a part from Final Rush. This, this exact thing. You run on that, and then you jump off here, and you bounce down and grind on the rails throughout this section. Oh, I'm supposed to be destroying things. Okay, well, fuck it. I guess we're not doing the fully dark thing. I can still make the dark mission? I'd have to teleport back. Or did they lower the requirements so you don't need to get all of them and there's an extra one now? Okay, I'll try to get the remaining ones. Doesn't this stage loop infinitely? No, it ends. But, you know, you can teleport back if you want. There. Got it. More SA2 level design here that they recreated. It's pretty cool. It, it really does make it feel like this is the same place as the place in Sonic Adventure 2. Very nice. Oh, 
Also, the music here is pretty good. Okay, I got that. This is like Baby's first Panzer Dragoon. Isn't that the, uh, the Sky Chase from Sonic Adventure? Is Baby's first Panzer Dragoon? I mean, this is also that. Although the aiming me mechanism here is more like Star Fox, really. Because it's like a, a, a an aiming reticle that's projected from the U. Oh, fuck. I missed it. That thing gave me too much speed. Alright, fine. We'll do it. We'll do it, because everyone wants to hear the music when you go to kill the president. So we'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, you're welcome. Everybody wants to kill the president. Fine. We'll kill the president. Hey, Laura. How's it going? We're going to go kill the president. Didn't I already avoid the president level? Well, there's the first president level where he's, like, escaping uh, in, like, the big ship thing. But then there's the second level where you go to kill the president where he's in the, the bunker. Uh, I guess that's where I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> you love making Shadow Wanted in all 50 states? Well, he's... I don't know what the, the political situation in these Sonic games is supposed to be. I mean, obviously... The imagery and what it's trying to evoke is America, but Gun is the global units of nations or whatever the fuck. So that to me implies that there's like a, a world government in Sonic. So he's not the president of Sonic America, he's the president of the world or something. I'm gonna avoid these things so I have more time of manual control. Guardian units of nations? Okay. So yeah, of nations implies a unification there to me. There we go. My man does it, really doesn't want to make that Lost World video? That video is coming out tomorrow. So there you go. Is there a king in the Sonic? Uh, well, Soliana, what's her face, is the princess. So presumably there's a king. Oh, dude, we get to fight this boss again immediately. <laughs> Don't you love uh, the system here? Dude, the amount in which Shadow, just in general, has lines about showing them your power is ridiculous. Come on, get up here, bitch. It's too fast. Oh, god damn it. What a boss fight, I tell ya. Might they rip off F-Zero? 
I think it's called Blue Falcon, right? Feels weird to be getting throwbacks to SA2 when that game is only four years old at this point. Uh, yeah, well, you know, memories and shit and shadow. Time for the only on-screen death in this game. Is there an on-screen death? You mean the pilot here? Does he die? Fucking hell. I think I'm gonna get an E rank for this. Oh yeah, that guy dies. He definitely dies. <laughs> he is falling down toward Earth and he's gonna burn up in the atmosphere. That guy is fucking dead. How's the podcast doing? Oh yeah, I haven't talked about that. Unfortunately, the podcast is not going to be happening. My friend that I was going to do it with, he's just too busy. He doesn't have the time to do it. So, eh, it's a shame. I really want to do it, but we just can't. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, people don't know. I, I was planning to do a podcast with a friend, but... uh not gonna be happening, at least not right now. Maybe eventually one day, who knows. This scene really doesn't work when there's all those loading screens. So, when this game builds off of SA2 so much, did they forget the part in SA2 where this blows up? Shadow the Hedgehog at SA2 would be age rated higher these days? I don't think so. They definitely forgot. They maybe didn't forget. Like, someone was like, hey, didn't the Eclipse Cannon blow up? And then someone else looked at him and said, who cares? <laughs> That's what happened. See, but everyone was evacuated and everyone was okay and the president got away. Well, now we need to fix that. We need to go murder the president. It would be nice if, uh, maybe for an update for Shadow Reloader or something, they can add a thing where, like, if you have more points with one faction than the other, those enemies won't target you. So if I'm playing evil, the aliens won't shoot me. And, you know, they could be like, yeah, Shadow, you're our elite unit. Get in there and fuck them up. Because that's what it feels like I want to be doing here. Like, you know, the aliens and gun are shooting each other, and I show up, and I'm like, I'll take care of it, buddy. But then he shoots me from behind. It's like, what the fuck? Oops. Sorry, buddy. My friends. My family, really. That was something considered, but it kind of ruins the gameplay. It's true. It does kind of fuck with the gameplay because then half the enemies just don't attack you. But thematically, it's a bit weird. Maybe if it was like there was a certain threshold, so that way if you had like just a little bit more in one direction or the other, the enemies would still target you. You had to like really go out of your way to play in favor of one faction and then they'll stop attacking you or something. Damn it. Ran out. Less ring loss? No, no, no. This game always uh, made us feel only lose 10 rings when you get hit. That's just a thing in this game. Oh, those do damage now. Holy shit. Normally, those don't do damage. They just have collision on them, which is weird. Those have way reduced health, I think, which I appreciate. 
And here's where you can just grind for a shit ton of points as these things keep respawning. I don't think they respawn infinitely. Yeah, no, they stopped. Uh, forget. Oh yeah, I just want to go here. I knew it wasn't go forward there, so I didn't want to just jump off. Is Shadow actually black furred and reloaded? He is. They fixed that, which I'm very grateful for, because that always annoyed me. Yeah, everyone wanted me to play this level just so they could listen to the music of this stage, right? Which is fair. It's good music. Oh, I'm out. Give me a Gatling gun. Yeah. Although it is extremely goofy for Shadow to just be handling this giant fucking gun like it's a pistol, just waving it around. This game really should have had, like, a separate set of animations for Shadow holding guns. Like, a running animation holding guns and everything. Which route is the one I should be taking here? I think the low route is the dark route. Let me just ask Blast Doom, which way do I go? I think this is it, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, ran out. Why are these pointing in the wrong direction? Shit. There we go. You doubt Rouge will be in the Sonic 3 movie? I would be surprised, because I assume they're gonna add Amy. And adding three new characters in a movie, that's a lot. So I imagine that Rouge will not be in it. Hey, what the hell? I st oh, look at that. Look at that, they added a thing there. But that's for like a side route, I don't need to go there. At least I think it's for a side route. I don't remember where to jump off here. Oh, fuck. That's not good. I wasn't paying attention. Normally, those guys don't hit you. That's why. That's why I wasn't thinking there. Normally, those guys' bullets don't actually do anything. Look at this. Shadow Reloaded making gameplay out of things that didn't work. Amazing. Man, I killed so many things, I might have gotten a C rank, but now I'm definitely gonna get the E, because I died. <laughs> Fuck! Goddamn homing attack getting caught in a box! I want that gun. See, as dumb as it is, the guns work in this game quite well. Fucking hell. Keep getting hit. Can I just get it? I think I can just get it. I can just get it. There we go. There we go. Now we just need to kill Sonic and... Mr. Gunman, and then we can kill the president.
when he's translating Sonic Battle? Cool. Alright, I need... Gun. Gun! Oh, hey, Sonic. What's up? <laughs> he's just hanging out. Alright, how the hell do you fight this thing again? I have to take down its shield, I think, right? Maybe? Where the hell is Sonic? I need to use him to, like, reach up there. Sonic, get over here. Sonic? Hello? Yeah, I know that, Black Doom, but the Blue Hedgehog... Okay, he was stuck on boxes. He's fixed now. He's fixed, everyone. You hate this boss? Yeah, this boss... I don't remember exactly how to fight it, but it's... Quite clunky, yes. I think you have to keep damaging the shield, and then eventually it drops, right? Because like the the things on his back, yeah, signify the health of the shield. This is just great. This is just great. Am I not supposed to be doing this? I don't remember how this fight works. Oh shit. I'm supposed to wait for him to attack? Well, there's definitely a way to like, stun him and get him on the ground vulnerable and you just hit him a bunch, but I do not remember how to do that. Okay, it seems like every time I jump off of Sonic, he does an attack and makes himself vulnerable. There we go. Shit. What a great fight. Ah. I don't want to use my gun, because I want to save it for uh, the, my Dark Shadow power. Whatever the fuck. For when I become Darth Vader. No! Don't homing it! I forgot to use the, the don't homing attack button. Oh, there's another gun box over there. Acceleration in this game's movement looks kind of stiff. Well, that's because there is none. You just instantly stop. And then once you get your dark power, don't actually use the Chaos Blast. Just shoot him. The infinite ammo is far more powerful. This boss is so sad to watch. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, what's my favorite shadow stage? Uh, yeah, I don't really know, honestly. I haven't really thought about it that much. 
The magic being in the cockpit of Z's shadow jump on you repeatedly like a trampoline. So we murder Sonic, we murder Mr. Gunman, and we murder the president. We've murdered everyone. One more playthrough. You want to play that Cosmic Fall, see if you fix that? I don't remember specifically where the levels are. That broke a little bit. That's fine. We're good. Alright, we'll go good now. We'll be good, good friendly, Shadow, that doesn't murder innocent human beings. He just murders innocent, evil aliens. Innocent evil aliens. Exactly. They didn't do anything wrong. What? 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 What did they do to deserve all this discrimination, eh? I can't see anything wrong. Henry, that is a dark joke right there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I'm not too bothered by it, but damn. Someone will be, I'll tell you that. Shadow the Hedgehog is secretly a metaphor for discrimination? Apparently. Oh, look at that. You don't even have to go to the final area here. How is this different from base game? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Getting asked every three seconds what Reloaded does to Shadow. It makes it better. <laughs> okay, enough edgy jokes. I agree, silly. Let's, uh, let's cool it on that. Uh, if I had to rank Shadow in top Sonic games, uh, in what top would it be? Top 10? Top 20? Uh, probably not top 10. I don't know if it would be in top 20. Uh, I think the good mission here is just beat the level, right? Which is fine by me, because then you just run real fast and it's real fun. That, unless you hit shit. This is where you get to just enjoy this game's fun movement. Ah, shit, I fell. Oh no, the good mission is to destroy the alien tank. Right, because it's an alien tank. Okay, that's fine. This thing has, like, no health.
Oh, sick. You just get these now. Did you struggle with this mission when you were a kid? So did I. And I struggled with a lot of these missions when I was a kid. Dude, that motorcycle, that's slower than me. Whoa, did they speed that thing up? It is fucking going. I kind of like that. Because normally you have to, like, slowly walk in front of this thing and go nowhere. Holy shit, get back here. I might actually fail this mission with how fast this thing is going. Because I wasn't killing it from the very beginning. Uh, okay. That just happened. No! Alright. Have I heard of Sonic & Knuckles' new Tragic Panic? Yeah, I'm aware of it. There we go. Why does it just stop sometimes? That's weird. There we go. We got it. Unfortunately, that game is a boss rush. I mean, if they can make good bosses, that might be okay. Visually, it's very cool. Jesus Christ. The game has weight spots for the tank for some reason? Weird. Your dream syntax. Uh, you, you're one of the devs working on Shadow Reloaded, right? Yo, what is up with these ranks? They are ridiculously difficult to get. That tank has horrible mileage. Ranks are adjusted in 1.2. Uh, that's the upcoming patch you're working on, right? Good. I mean, I, I appreciate making them harder because in the original game, you could basically just ignore everything and get A ranks. But they're, like, ridiculous here. They're, like, impossible. I killed one of the mini-bosses in, like, 30 seconds, and I, uh, I got an E rank, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Fuck. Shit. Is there a gun here I can get to speed this up? I want a gun. There is a gun. Give me your gun. Yeah, get back here, fucker. Uh, the idea was to encourage learning to do the levels fast, but most people just feel like shit after getting the E-rank, thinking they did good. Yeah, I mean, uh... The thing is, in the original game, all you had to do was beat the levels fast to get A-ranks. I would figure that you would have rebalanced it to be like, actually kill shit. Because <laughs> the time bonus in the original game is just so gigantic that you can ignore everything.
Why I hate Lost World so much? Because the game sucks. <laughs> because it controls terribly, and I don't like the level design, and I don't like the core design or gameplay, and I don't like anything about it. Please do not skip. I'm playing in Japanese anyway, it doesn't even say the line. Lost World is definitely the worst mainline game. I Lost World is one of the worst fucking games I've ever played in my life. Genuinely. I fucking hate that game. Uh, Eli, thank you for the donation. Uh, please play Cosmic Falls Semi-Hero 6 Stage Route. Uh... Okay, I guess. That's fine. Hmm. Ah, blah, blah. That's gonna mean... Yeah, so I'm gonna do the hero mission here. Which... What is it? 400 rings? Wait, no, I think isn't after this one of those fucking arc levels? I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just try to get to the end. How could Lost World be worse than 06? Uh, I think it's worse than 06. There is some fun to be had playing 06. Not in Lost World. Oh, that's new. Damn it. That's pretty cool. You finally find a reason we don't see the Lost World review for so long. Everyone's like, oh man, Pariah really doesn't want to review Lost World. Like everyone was like, oh man, Pariah really doesn't want to review Colors. He must really hate that game. When I don't. I just haven't reviewed Lost World because I've just been doing other things. I already played the game. I've had the footage for a while. I just haven't done it. Lost World ain't that bad, only the snow world sucks. Everything in that game sucks. Skip that game? I'd love to, but I already played it. Now I'm definitely gonna make videos out of it. I didn't fucking play it for no goddamn reason. Sure as hell wasn't for fun. Did the Zeddy name joke make again? That'll be in the story video. Not in the gameplay video. Will I make a video about Runner's Revival? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Laura, the parkour, the big problem with it for me is that it controls like shit because Lost World everything controls like shit. It just does not work well. It's so bad. Do I plan to make a Frontiers video? Obviously, yes, I'm gonna make a Frontiers video. Another cyberspace level. Uh, yeah, just make it to the end here is all. Favorite Zeddy? That would imply that I like any of the Zeddy. Fucking hell. These things are bitches now. In a good way. In that they're actual enemies now. That you need to 
think about more than not at all. I need a gun. Oh no! That's not good. How can I not like this Eddie when they have Zavok? It's true, it's Zavok. The greatest Sonic character of them all. You know, I don't like Sage either, but I will give her. She's better than Zavok. Peekvok. <laughs> Please, no. I don't remember which tower I have to go to for the shadow mission. I think it's the red one, because it's the furthest from here. That makes sense, right? That's a video game. Sage is just a nothing character. And I'll take a nothing character over a shitty discount Bowser. <laughs> I just love Zavok being shoved into everything. It's a very strange thing that they think that anyone gives a fuck about the Deadly Six and they keep putting them in stuff. You can play as all your favorite Sonic characters and Zavok. I was worried that these things might catch up to me. Fuck it, hell. <laughs> Should have just taken them all out, but I was like, eh, that's far away. They'll de-aggro. They'll de-aggro. They didn't de-aggro. That comes back down, right? Does that not come back down? Did Lost World accidentally sell well? Oh, dear God, no. Lost World sold fucking terribly. Maybe if I just go far away, it'll despawn and then respawn. Probably not. Probably not. Oh my God, it did. Look at that. I know how a video game... Thankfully, it sold poorly. Yeah, imagine if Lost World sold well and then they tried to do a sequel to it. That would have been the worst timeline. That one time the Wii U helped Sonic. I mean, sort of. How much did it sell? It sold, like, less than a million copies, I'm pretty sure. Only a couple hundred thousand, which is abysmal for a Sonic game. But, you know, it was a Wii U game. It was bad. <laughs> what do you expect? Including PC port? I don't know about the PC port sales. Probably still not great. Wasn't that Rise of Lyric? I think they both sold terribly. Uh, you're wondering if I'd ever do a review of any of the Persona games? Uh, possibly? I'd have to see. The thing is, I just have to replay all the Persona games, and they're really long.
fuck. I just noticed those little orbs he shoots out have his face on them. I never noticed that before. You probably can't really see that very well at the original resolution. <laughs> you love Zavok so much, you hope he returns in Sonic Frontiers 2? Honestly, I don't expect uh, the Deadly Six to ever come back in a main game. So, from what I've played, uh, does Reload to fix all the problems with the game? Ah, uh, seems to do a pretty good job at uh, improving a lot of the issues. Man, we're just fucking revisiting all the levels. Will I ever stream Streets of Rage Remake? Uh, I don't know, maybe. They're stuck in IDW purgatory, so good riddance. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Who gives a shit about those characters? This is a cool level conceptually. Racing with Sonic. It's a shame they don't actually have a Sonic NPC running around that you race against. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck it, bitch. Neutral mission is actually harder because you have to wait at the finish line. I mean, it's not harder, it's just badly designed. Stream Syntax, did you guys fix that at all? Can you just, like, select the neutral mission and complete it? Pause and read the missions. Oh, find the second goal ring before Sonic does. Look at that. Look at those uh, fixes right there. So you hit the normal goal ring and you're fine. You gotta find the second goal ring. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome improvement. Also, the timer is way reduced here. It was like three minutes. Not at all what it is in the original. My guess is that you have to take the key route, right? That's probably what it is. So much automation, holy shit. Welcome to a Sonic Team game. Is that now the normal one? That's probably the normal exit, right? Because that's too easy to get to. Damn it, I didn't get to do the, the big chaos control at the end. Ran out of time. Well, there's a thing to shoot there. I wonder what that does. That's a big improvement there. That's a good fix. That's a really good improved level. That's really good. Make the timer an actual timer that you need to try to beat. 
Uh, have a second goal ring so you don't have to sit around waiting forever. Uh, to make that final section faster and less boring. Good stuff. Good stuff. He wanted the semi root. So Wasn't it six stage stem a semi root? Oh yeah, the six stage is the last level. Fuck. Sorry about that. But we'll play it anyway when we go through expert mode, because uh, we got time to do expert mode. I don't remember what stages are what. I apologize. Uh, Rosie, thanks for donation. Uh, with the power of these emeralds, you're gonna destroy this damn stream. <laughs> uh, top three fave Sonic character? Uh, probably be Sonic, Shadow, and Blaze? Or maybe Metal Sonic? One of those? Stop blocking my gun, bitch. This is a pretty cool gimmick for this level. <laughs> Sorry about that, had to sneeze. Look, it's the logo. A lot of people, I feel like, don't think about this very much, but that logo, that sigil, that's like the Shadow of the Hedgehog logo, a lot of people use it for, like, Shadow's insignia, but it's not his. Whoops. It's the Black Arms logo, not Shadow's. Black Doom wears it, does he? Oh yeah, isn't it like uh, on the one of the things hanging from his uh, whatever the hell he's wearing? Sonic Team loves indecipherable logos that mean nothing. I mean, it's just the logo of the Black Arms. That's fine. You don't even need to take that out, because you can just spin dash jump. But yeah, that fucking Sonic Frontiers thing. I still don't know what it is. I guess I have to kill these guys? Yeah, okay.
The speed. The influence is left to interpretation. What for the Frontiers logo? Okay, my interpretation is that it's a meaningless logo. I mean, it probably has some meaning that you can figure out. And I'll do it when I do the story video, I guess. But I've not put thought into it for now, because I haven't thought about the story, because it's the story of Sonic Frontiers, and why would I waste my time on that? You think they explain the logo in Final Horizon dialogue? Do they? I don't recall anything like that. about the creator of Utopia? Yeah, I've heard about it. I don't know the full situation because I don't use social media. Uh, but it doesn't seem very good. Have I watched Kung Fu Panda? I watched the original, and maybe the second one, I think? And I don't really particularly remember them being great. They were fine. Okay. Am I gonna do more Crash Bandicoot videos? Yes. I'll definitely be doing a video on Crash Team Racing. Uh, I haven't played Crash Team Rumble. Is that game worth your time? Should I look into that game at all? Yo, it's time for the other shitty boss in this. Ah, shit. I think actually does a fuck ton of damage. Come on, bitch. Show yourself. I have the heroic power of infinite bullets now. You check Twitter like once a month and was so happy to find I left? I mean, yeah, and d definitely I have been uh, much better off since leaving because it is the worst. I think there's going to be a Black Doom fight in the Generations remake? Yeah, probably. Are right, the voice actors from Generations now referred to as the Studiopolis cast? That's like the... what what they have in the credits. Uh, Cancer, thank you for the donation. Thoughts on Rockstar games? Uh, I have never played a Rockstar game before. Don't really have any interest in playing any of them. Uh, I'll say that.
When did I become a Sonic fan? The very first video game I ever played in my entire life when I was like three years old was Sonic 3. Uh, and it all started from there. All the problems. Thoughts on Spice and Wolf remake? Oh yeah, I heard they were doing like a remake of the Spice and Wolf anime, right? Is that out? I haven't watched it. Uh, I read the books, so... I mean, if it's good, cool, but I'm very satisfied having read the books. Really never played a Rockstar game? Nope. Never played one. Don't really care to. They do not look like my kinds of games in the slightest. Hey, I got the... Oh no, it's the heal gun. I don't want that. Use the Billy Hatcher chicken gun. Hop on Grand Theft Auto, bro. I really just... It does not look like a game I would enjoy in the slightest. I'm good. Every game was Mega Collection. For me, it was the original games played on an emulator. Oh, how? That's not normally the invincibility music, is it? I don't think so. It is? Wow. I just get invincibility so rarely in this game that I forgot what it is. Reuse level design! I mean, that's like this whole game is reuse level design. It's quite lame. For Sonic game of Sonic Battle on GBA. That's a weird place to start. Yo, this shield is great for this. I can just bash through these things without getting hit. And here is uh, one of the first instances of them allowing Shadow to Chaos Control without Chaos Emeralds. This and Sonic Battle, I think, are the first times where they did that. Here, it's probably just, like, whatever gameplay purposes. Why don't I talk about Mario very often? I fucking recently did a goddamn video reviewing all the 2D Mario games. What more do you want? I've just been playing Sonic games a lot, so that's what I've been talking about. I'll probably do more Mario videos in the future. did in SA2 as well. Yeah, but that was uh, definitely like a, oh, whoops, we forgot. This is like, that was a choice. They have dialogue of him doing Chaos Control. We do Sonic here, unfortunately. Let me just grab one of these. This is probably much better. Yeah. Or in my opinion on the great emulation horse Nintendo started earlier this month? Uh, it's an exercise in futility. They can't stop it. There's nothing they can do. Oh, come on. What the fuck? At least I didn't fall off the edge, Jesus. Is this just another chaos control already? There's just another one, come on. All right, give me your gun.
All right, later, Hisia. Thanks for stopping by. This level doesn't feel very changed at all. It feels pretty much exactly the same as it was. Jesus Christ, explosions. I gotta say, I do love the, uh, this era of video games where explosions was just a sphere with a fire texture on it that you just make grow in size. <laughs> so many games did it that way, and, uh, it, it's, it's got a nice feel to it. Reminds you of, like, mecha space anime, when they do the explosions and they're all just those spheres in the sky, or in space. Alright, time for the amazing final boss. Is everybody ready? Is everyone excited? Oh, I make a review of the Sega Pico games? No. So many cutscenes! Probably an unpopular opinion. I mean, I've said this before in videos, but I do not think that the super story-heavy direction of uh, Sonic starting with Adventure was the right way to go. I do not think a game like Sonic needs to have two and a half hours of cutscenes. It's base, shut up. I just want to play a game. Boss also kind of sucks. Damn it, did it too early. Gotta wait for him to become vulnerable again. The fact that Shadow has his hand, like, sticking out forward like it's supposed to be a gun, it looks really stupid. Also, his gloves are, like, horribly clipping into the cuffs. Look at that, that looks terrible. What an amazing boss. Truly, these supersonic final bosses, they've been great in every game. <laughs> Rosie, thank you for the donation. I can see all of you, yes. Walk into your mystery. So many cutscenes! And then we have the JPEG in front of the camera again. This song is good. Should we listen to this song? We can listen to this song. Too many cutscenes, not enough game. I agree. 
there's plenty of game here. There's just too many cutscenes, especially when you're playing the normal game and they're unskippable. Do not like. Never make unskippable cutscenes ever. If I were in charge of creating a Sonic series boss battle, how would I go about it? Samuel, I have a whole video about that exact thing. You should go watch it. Oh, a Super Sonic boss battle specifically. I mean, I talk about that in that video too. It, you you want to know? I don't think we need Super Sonic boss battles. I'd be okay if there just wasn't one. <laughs> Wait, this game is an unskippable intro too? No, you can skip the intro, but the cutscenes you have to watch on your first playthrough. In terms of stories, I think they could have kept the story adventure style if they supplemented with hero style games. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess every now and then having a bigger story is fine. The guy who directed the CGI is directing the Sonic 3 movie? I mean, wasn't he just one of the guys working on these cutscenes? Was he the director of the pre-rendered cutscenes? I don't actually know. I mean, what does it matter? Who? <laughs> Not to disrespect the guy, but he is a corporate pawn. The, the suits just tell him what to do, and then he does it. <laughs> they give him a list of bullet points of here's what the movie has to be. Make it. That's how big-budget Hollywood junk works. They're not really a creator's vision. But the authorship? I would love if there was authorship in a Sonic movie, but there's not. <laughs> Do I prefer sharply curved quills for Shadow or more smoothly curved? I mean, they were only sharply curved in SA2 because his character model had low polygons. Pariah wouldn't be a pawn if he was in the writer's room he'd cook. Well, the thing is, if I was in the writer's room for the Sonic movies, they'd be like, bro, what you're trying to do, it doesn't fit the spreadsheet. We can't do any of this. And I'd probably be fired eventually. <laughs> <laughs> for being like, hey, isn't that really stupid? Hey, doesn't that have nothing to do with Sonic? Hey, isn't this a really bad script? And then they would say, okay, you can leave. <laughs> That's what would happen. Shadow's quills are meant to be curvy sharp. Just look at the Wakawa artwork. Oh yeah, that's true. They do have like a hard angle in them. You're right. Huh. Kind of weird that they make them smoothly curved in the models then. You forgot I don't like the movies? Well, I don't like the first movie because it's the only one I watched. How would I write SA3? You know, Triple C, I really want to do a video trying to cynically predict the whole plot of the third Sonic movie. But it wouldn't be what I would do. It would be, what are they going to do? <laughs> and it would be really, really cynical and nihilistic. And I think it would be funny. But I have to watch the second Sonic movie before I can do that. And I don't want to watch the second Sonic movie. Well, I watched Sonic, uh, 3 or 2, um... I will probably watch Sonic 2 to make a video talking about the Sonic movies, even though I don't wanna. Uh... I hope I don't watch Sonic 3, because I just don't care. I just don't want to. What game was my introduction to the Japanese cast? Whoa, I start with a gun? Holy shit. This is different. This stuff isn't here normally. They changed expert mode, what the fuck? Or maybe I don't remember expert mode? 
Why did I start with a gun? That's cool. Sonic Movie 2 killed your friends? How would it kill your friends? So you see, the Mario movie actually has very deep and mature themes. I mean, the Mario movie, I did not hate. I thought it was okay. Oh, look at that. You actually lose your rings in this when you get hit. They, like, disappear. Did they change it so that way you lose all your rings instead of just ten? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at these changes. Interesting. You don't like that? Bad change? Eh, I don't know. I'm okay with it because in the normal game, it's basically impossible to die. What the fuck? Do I have to do a slope jump there? Is that what you're asking me to do? That's a little weird. That's a little weird to have a scripted section like that that leads into, like, gameplay that you did not see coming. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. I didn't make it. Bro, it's a passivity trap. It definitely is. But this game normally doesn't have stuff like that, so I was not prepared for it. I just saw there's a, there's a thing up there. Look at that. Yo, this is like an adventure. Like, what? what you never know what's, what's going to be around the next corner in this. How the hell do I get that? Can I stand on this? Come on, Shadow. No, I cannot stand on that. Yeah, I have an idea. Blech. Come on. I can do it. Shit. Is this like a Sonic adventure? Yeah, what the hell is this? But what did that do? Alright, later, uh, funny HTTPS. Oh, fuck. I was reading chat, not paying attention. Okay, it's fine. We can just do this. This is, uh, some pretty kooky design, I gotta say. Did that open this? It might open this. It's the armored vehicle. I'm not gonna bother with that. Give me the shadow cannon. Very interesting and weird level design changes here. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see. We'll keep playing. We'll see what happens. Quite cool, but who knows? You might have fucked it up. We'll find out. Okay. But definitely much more modified uh, than the normal expert mode version of the stage. I also like that it just plays the voice lines of the other characters talking to you, rather than you having to hit the little hint orb things for no reason. That's nice. Right? Is that how it worked in expert mode? I think so. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Shit! 
Get my ass handed to me this playthrough. Oh my god, look at this. You kidding me? <laughs> okay. to spin dash release and jump as soon as you cross the upward slope? Yes, I'm aware. Tough to do, though, because the spin dash is very fast in this game. There we go. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it, but this game is not super well built for uh, slope jumps and whatnot. Um, how do I, how do I do the do? You're not gonna make me slope jump off this, are you? They fucking are. <laughs> Shit, mistimed it. Can I even jump this? Seems like I can't. Damn it! No, not enough height. This is some Kaizo shit. This is... This is questionable. I mean, I might not be doing this correctly. There might be another way. Can I jump this? I don't know. There we go. Fuck! Sonic Unleashed DLC got a competitor? I would say this is, like, more off than that, because this is, like, weirdo level design that's like this. No, no professional game designer would put this in a game. <laughs> that, I, I don't know about these kinds of things. The physics collision and shit on this game. Oh, fuck is not great for this kind of gameplay. This is not a classic Sonic game where I could just do that on command if I wanted to. Fucking hell. Get the hell out of there, I'm gonna get killed. I can do it on command if I train myself to do it. I mean, it's true, but this game is just not well suited to that kind of gameplay. The, the spin dash and how it functions and the collision, it's odd. Oh no, yeah, reloaded absolutely added this level design. Fucking hell. <laughs> so... Can I stand on that? Nope. How the fuck am I supposed to do this? <laughs> what the hell? I can't just jump that, can I? No way. Oh, you can, okay. Okay, you can just jump that. It seemed like it might be too high to make it up. Got the Hedgehog Kaizo? It seems like that's kind of what they're going for here. Are you kidding me? Are you kid? They're kidding me, right? Really? Okay, fine. If that's how you want to do things. That one's okay. 
It's just weird. This game, these types of Sonic games normally do not have this kind of design. This is like, all right, it's a real video game now. <laughs> We're not fucking around. Am I a car guy? Not in the slightest, no. I don't even have a car. Even classic Sonic doesn't require you to do this stuff. It's true. Normally, like, slope jumping, this kind of stuff is optional in Sonic games for, like, doing advanced shit. They never, like, put a wall and say, slope jump up here, motherfucker. But hey, I guess this is really living up to its namesake as expert mode for Shadow the Hedgehog experts. We'll see how it goes. What story is Expert Mode? Expert Mode's not a story, it's just uh, once you do a bunch of shit in the game, you unlock Expert Mode and you just play through all the levels uh, and they're remixed. And here they're remixed quite a bit. How do I get around? I just borrow, so borrow someone else's car or uh, I just walk to work. Uh, my job is in within walking distance. I actually live, like, right next to a main street, so there's a lot of stuff I can just walk to. Grocery store, get a haircut. I just walk. The camera? I was futzing with the camera there when I shouldn't have been. There we go. I can't get up that. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I can do this. You want me to do slope jumping and shit? Okay, fine. I'll do it. In fact, is this... I think this is actually the intended design here. I have to slope jump up this, going through that gap between those boxes. Come on. There we go. Is my neighborhood crime ridden? No, not at all. Let me guess, I'm just gonna have to do this. Yep. I'm probably now seeing slope jumps where they aren't necessary. I, I couldn't see another way to do that because those blocks were too high to jump up to. Okay, there we go. Well, that level took me nine minutes to complete. Holy shit. <laughs> You're glad that expert mode is as fuggy because you already do this shit in the main game? It's certainly an expert mode. <laughs> you got really kooky with expert mode for 1.1? You, you clearly did. You clearly did. My goodness. I would say maybe reel it back a little bit with the slope jump stuff because it's very awkward in this game. But it's your game. Do what you want. Oh, hello. Hello. Couldn't really see that. Give me your gun. I 
I guess that's another passivity trap, eh? Getting you with all of them this time. I'm just not used to this game having this type of gameplay and level design. This game is kind of ugly. It has a vision. It's a vision of gray-brown shit games from the 2000s. Well, that's a vision, and it I would say it nails it decently well. I saw that one coming. I was, I'm learning. I am learning to suspect this game's crap. That did feel very Sonic. The, like, okay, big loop section, big speed stuff, jump. And it, it was true. It was true. This is the GameCube version, which is arguably the worst looking one. I mean, from what I know, the, the like PS2 GameCube era of Sonic games are all pretty much identical on all platforms, right? Except they run like shit on PS2. Can I go this way? I can. But I'm also close to getting uh, light power. I'm gonna try to go for that. That's a fine slope jump. That's very doable without issue. Shit. Go, Shadow. What? Hello. Oh, yeah, that's right. It has this, that weird ass. I was trying to swing, but I forgot. You don't swing with swinging. You gotta use the, the Z button to swing. Which is a weird, weird thing. What's going on with the camera? I think this is from the, the widescreen hack. Sometimes it gets a little, like, confused. I think passivity traps were internally called Yasuhara sets, according to the 25th anniversary interview. I have never heard of that before. I can be fixed if I turn off auto in Dolphin Aspect. I don't have it set to auto right now. Checkpoint just to be safe. Well, it's there so you can teleport back when you're doing, like, missions and stuff. Alright, what do they do to this fucking level to make it bullshit? Damn, that thing is moving. Eh, didn't make it. Half of last story is just loading cutscenes? It is. How do I break that open? I want that. I don't know. Oh, you just break it open, okay. like a switch here now or something? I have to kill the flying thing. Hello? 
now. Okay, yeah, I have to hit, kill the flying thing. Um, oh. Trixie, Trixie. They can actually do that part. You know, it's a bold design choice to have all these light speed dashes over pits, because we all know how poorly functioning the light speed dash can be in these Sonic games. Oh, I can't destroy that with my gun. The fuck? What the fuck? Hello? Uh... I see what's happening here. You guys might want to do something about this. Uh, am I dead? I'm dead. What, what happened there is that my slide didn't break the thing. I just went through it. And then the, the launch point of the... Whatever those things are called is before... It's at the beginning of the ramp, before the uh, the fence. So I'm immediately hitting the fence, and that's canceling all of my forward movements and just launching me up. Oh, fuck. There we go. See? Now it works. This is vital player feedback for free. I mean, that this is the, why I wanted to play this. So I could uh, let the devs know what I think of their game. As far as the main game stuff, it seems like universally really great improvements all around. Some slightly questionable things going on with expert mode. I see what they wanted to do here. They want to get really kind of experimental and fucky with things, and that's kind of cool. But I don't know, they might have done a little, gone a little too far. ever play the Sonic Advance games on stream? Probably. Uh, did I kill myself? Oh! Oh, I, oh, I killed myself. I could have recovered from that. Cannon score moment? Very much. Uh, can you ask chat if you would prefer expert mode with hard and weird or no missions encore mode style? Sure, I mean, you already did. You just did it right there. Personally, I'm okay with it being hard and weird, but maybe it's just a, li a little too much. A little too weird. I would say being hard and weird is in the spirit of the game, because that's what Sonic Team is all about with their hard modes in games like this, or Heroes, or the DLCs for 06 and Unleashed. It was all like, let's get fucking weird with shit. But I do know a lot of players do enjoy Expert Mode as just a way to play Sonic or Shadow as a more traditional Sonic game. And so this is gonna 
alienate those players. Uh, did the soldier still talk about Yuji Naka and the JP Auto audio? I don't know. Oh yeah, to the devs of, uh, of this, I don't know if you were here for the stream earlier, but when we did uh, this level earlier, the part where you're grinding away from the big weird skeleton monster thing, that part doesn't work super well, because now that you've sped it up, the player has to hit those uh, dash rings in order to outrun it, but on your first playthrough, you don't know where those are, so you just are basically forced to die. That's not great. Unless I was doing that wrong. Uh... Was I supposed to get a torch from one of those boxes? I might have. No. The subtitles tell you to jump to the rings? Yeah, but if it's your first time playing, you don't know where those rings are because the camera is pointing backwards. Where the hell? I assume that I need to get a torch, right? Or is this just more weird level to up? Oh. Like, am I supposed to jump this? No, you can't make that. Oh, there you go. You hit it. You hit it. This is an original Sonic Team moment. It's true. It's a problem in the, uh, just with the game, but it does cause players, first time players, to just die there with nothing they can really do about it. I can slope jump that for the record, can you? I guess I just suck too badly. Hey, what's up, Cream? How you doing? I can't see. Camera! Actually, no, I should hold on to that. Oh, you meant the torch. Okay, yeah. A lot of people have started to appreciate both this and 06 more over the last uh, few years, especially. Apparently, I am partially responsible for the Shadow of the Hedgehog appreciation uh, after my videos on the game, which I'm okay with. I've always felt that this game was not as bad as people let on. It's just that, like, stigma of, oh, Shadow with guns, it's stupid, so you have to make fun of it. You don't have to make fun of it. I mean, you can, but that doesn't mean the game is bad automatically. Shit. I have too much power, that's why. I need to be stopped. This is just in the game normally, this platforming here. This is not new. I don't know if that light speed dash is there normally. Oh, 
Oh. I wasn't thinking. I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. Yeah, there's another one. We're good. That's just a red ring. Just a red ring! Um... Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot that moves. And now that did something. Aha! Here we go. Look at this maze. Oh yeah, this is where you uh, find that chow. Oh god, I'm accidentally hitting them all. What am I supposed to be doing here? Is this like a pointless waste of time? Do I need to murder all the chow? <laughs> there, I have now harmed all of them. Um, I assume I have to go here. I'm a little confuzzled, though. You think the torch caused issues? Did it? Do I have to kill myself? I probably have to kill myself. You probably need to, like, help all the chow or whatever, right? But because I was murdering them, it didn't work. I just poked the chow. too late. I already killed myself. Imagine somebody putting that out of context. People take my shit out of context all the time. I'm sure if someone posted an out of context clip of me saying I want to kill myself, a bunch of people would be celebrating about that because people are weird. Can't go that way. That's why Twitter is a cesspool? Exactly. Which is why I left. And yeah, that. Yeah, this. Fucking hell. Taking so much damage this playthrough. Fuck! I rest my case. Okay, I'm gonna drop that now so I don't murder any chow. Yes, okay. See, I need to befriend the Chow, not murder them. God. 
Look up John 114. Is that a Bible thing? Oh shit. Oh, there are more. I was not prepared. It is? I ain't looking up no Bible crap. I don't give a shit. Shower friends, not food. Not according to the Ifrit from Sonic Rivals. Alright, we're good now. You think the ring trails need to be longer? Also, the ring trails should be consistent. Like, there's one ring trail there in the middle that doesn't lead to one of those dash rings, which is what led me to believe it wasn't important to go after those. Uh, inconsistent communication. That's cool. I like that added there. You think it was trying to throw me off? It's not really great to try to throw the player off when they can't see what they're doing. You should give them consistently reliable information in that instance. Prison Island is so good. You think? I'm not really a fan of this level. I don't like riding around on this thing. Why is everyone talking about the Bible and shit in chat? Okay, seriously, can we stop with the fucking religious shit, please? Oh god. Uh, saved it. I got rid of the, uh, the, the dark power there. Into Sonic, isn't it? I mean, yes, I know Shadow with the biblical stuff, but shut up. <laughs> Y'all are just trolling with weird shit. still here, Laura, if I need you. I mean, it's up to your discretion if you feel like people are overstepping bounds and uh, need to be put in timeout or whatever. You are free to take action independently. Uh, and if I feel like I want you to do something, I'll let you know. Got it. Got it. Who almost died? Certainly not me. Come 
I never did explain what happened with the fake Gabriel incident. It was just some assholes trolling in the chat. That's all. Amy cameo, let's go. I mean, I played the stage with Amy earlier. I'm gonna be honest, there seems to be a fairly sizable group of Sonic fans that are particularly really into Amy. Like, they love Amy as a character. And I'm gonna be honest, I really don't understand why. <laughs> I mean, Amy is like, fine, whatever, but... She, she very rarely even does anything in Sonic games. I, I just don't really see why someone would particularly like Amy that much. Cause cute girl? Is that all it takes? Is it cause cute girl? I mean, she's fine. I don't dislike Amy. But she's just, uh, not a super amazing character to me. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Screwed up in the same way I did before. Actually, not the same way, but in the same place. You sure if I was a cute anime girl, I'd have a billion followers? Then I need to start uh, being a VTuber. That's where the real bucks are. Go oh, up! I was reading chat. <laughs> they added gameplay to this. Okay, you cannot homing attack into that. Just touching it is death. Good to know. Okay, what the fuck? What is up with these side-facing barrels now? Come on, guys. What the fuck is this shit? Oh my goodness. Need a pariah VTuber model? Uh, no. <laughs> that was a joke. I will not ever be doing any kind of VTubing. No. Oh, fucking hell. That's what I get for trying to spin dash jump. Do I have a Sonic OC? Uh, I guess. Uh, characters I created for that writer story I'm working on. I've mentioned in the community tab. You've never gone there. Oh, I can shoot them instead of jumping? Oh. I did not think of that. Do you... <laughs> the Sentai Squad in colors? Oh yeah, I guess those as well. See, I don't really think of them as OCs, because in my head, an OC is like, I want to make my own Sonic character because I want to. Whereas the characters that I've created are, like, story, purpose-driven characters, you know? They exist for reasons. Bros, this is rough. <laughs> this is a bit much.
As if high quality is qualifies them for being OCs? I mean, yeah, they are OCs, I guess. Uh, I just don't really think of them that way, because... Every character is an OC for any given thing. You make a character when you're trying to tell a story, and the... The character is necessary to serve a function in that story. That's what characters are. They're tools for storytelling. Uh, pff, wow, the hitboxes on those are gigantic. Isn't every character an OC by the meaning of the word, since every character is an original character? Yeah, that's what I mean. But no one calls Sage an OC. Dude, you just have no ground there. It, it, it feels like this game, uh, maybe one of the devs can correct me if I'm wrong, but Shadow the Hedgehog by default, it feels like there is like a delay when you release the spin dash before a jump input will register. Because if there's not a lot of ground in front of you, it doesn't matter how quickly you press jump after letting go, you just will not jump. That fucking Christ. You remember this part of the level? This is modified for uh, Shadow Reloaded. You don't get OC as an insult? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just walked off that time. You thought I was good at Sonic games? Let's see you do better, huh? How about that? How about that? You thought this was easier than the original design? You crazy, Dream Syntax. You crazy. Okay. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You motherfuckers. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's the pressure of live streaming that's getting to me. I'm fine, it's just... This is very bizarre, bad level design. I'ma be honest. This is not... no. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, you never made that connection, Subsonic Sparkle? Yeah, I know that. I've known that for a long, long time. They're the same barrels from Sonic 3, basically. Minus the spinning. I forgot, when you try to go up from a ledge, you go into an, a jump animation. <laughs> what in the fuck is this level design? Okay, if I just wait for it to come to a stop... And then this. Remember what I was saying about that delayed jump from a spin dash? Yeah. Yeah, this is a problem. Honestly, is this even possible? I, it's probably possible, I'm sure. It's just... It doesn't great. It doesn't work good.
Fuck. <laughs> Too early. You don't see bad level design here? I do. I'm playing it. <laughs> Try holding A when I release the spin dash? Will it, like, store? Okay, I can try it here. If I hit A while charging the spin dash, he jumps. So I can't really do that. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, good hell. Better to cancel it with a jump than do it too late. Still up. <laughs> There's no lives in this uh, Sonic White. I think that's just part of Shadow Reloaded, right? No limited lives at all. I gotta buffer the jump. You can't. If I charge, then you cannot store the spin dash. Buffer. Oh, I can't buffer. I, I, I can't do that. And I have to press jump immediately after releasing. It's the only option. Oh my god. <laughs> Chaos Control? I was thinking about that. I would love to Chaos Control past this section. <laughs> We're gonna see Pariah Rage finally? Probably not. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Right, still trying to jump on those barrels to this day? Maybe. Maybe. Ugh. Why am I just walking off? That's just me pressing the button too late. Oh, God. Oh, this game's collision is amazing. Go into the game codes and remove the barrels? Well, I need the barrels. I just... I need an extra barrel. Or two or three or... Just a different arrangement. Fuck! This is convince you to delete this section? I would say just restore it to how it is normally in expert mode. I think it's fine there. Oh god. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Not just a jump input makes him do that, but also holding forward, and I'm still holding forward there. And I am a very patient gamer, Dream Syntax. I'm okay. Anyone else playing this, they are gonna be so fucking frustrated and pissed playing this. This definitely needs to be changed. Oh my god. Oh my god. To get past the barrel, I'm supposed to press up and down. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I was reading chat. Uh. 
would be more valuable if it was its current iteration. I mean, I don't know what the current iteration you're working on is. As long as it's reasonable, that would be good by me. <laughs> Okay, he fell down the slope. <laughs> the slope caused me to fall down. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation, Eli. I can do it. I'm sure I can do it. It's just, I'm not exactly having a good time doing it. You're still not convinced this is bad level design? You are wrong. It. Nope. 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 I mean, what's the frame window that I have to jump there? Because it seems incredibly tiny. This is where Shadow becomes Super Shadow. I think there is a thing in the... In the codes where you can, like, become Super Shadow and fly around, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I supposed to spin dash jump there? I mean, what else can I do? There's nothing else. There, there are no other options. I just have to jump that distance, right? Cool looking casino than in, in Superstars, at least. Well, it's not really a casino level. It's, it's like a circus. You know, I convinced I'm going to get enough height? I, I don't know. It's the only theory I have. That. I was thinking to use the flat barrel because it's bigger, so it'll give me a larger window. That seems to be the strat. I just have to not hit the fire. Yeah, that was just a bad jump. Bad lineup. Okay, this is the one. We got it. This is the time. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's over, everybody. Blit. <laughs> All right, we hit a checkpoint. We're officially safe. We're in the clear. We are in the clear. Um... What? Oh yeah, I just go up these. Forgot about this. That was abysmal holy hell. It was not good. It was not good. What's my favorite stage in this game? Uh, I really don't know, honestly. Oh my god, the gun is blocking my camera. Can't see shit. All right. <laughs> it was just hard, man. It was bad. <laughs> Alright, these levels are weird because they're not normally linear levels, but they turn them into linear levels. And they work a little strangely. 
Because you still have to do the objective, at least normally. So I still need to destroy uh, these four big old bomb things. But they're like laid out on a linear path. Music in this stage is super good. Do I have to go up there? I don't think so. It's my favorite music in this game? Also don't know. There's a lot of good music here. This section is quite lame, because you just stand here and just kill everything. This is the first game you played when you got into Sonic. This would give you a very incorrect impression of what Sonic is. This would be a strange first game. This level doesn't seem too modified. Seems mostly the same. Yo, give me this. Oh, hello. So like one time in the game and the car is useful. Fucking hell. Is that it? No, there's one more. <laughs> Fucking bitch, good shot. I guess acid-proof tires, apparently. Uh, what? Is there supposed to be, like, a light-speed dash trail? Is there, like, a button I have to hit or something? Um... Huh? Can I? I can't homing attack off of that. Oh, there's just a spring there. Oh, okay. A little awkward. Okay. Sonic Team is trolling. Is that there in the original level? Yeah, that's weird level design. You should put a light dash trail uh, off of that spring that you can use to go from one roof to the other. Already another one of these levels that's normally non-linear, but now it is linear. Uh... Hopefully I won't get lost. Normally it's just follow the doors and you'll be fine. Metroid but bad again. This does have a very Other M vibe to it, doesn't it? Which, by the way, Other M is the only Metroid game that I have not, uh, ever played to completion. Blah! At least of the ones I have played. I haven't played Dread at all yet. 
But it was the only Metroid game that I started playing and was like, wow, this game is mostly just boring. That's my main problem with it. It's a boring game. And I just stopped playing. That dying animation is funny. It is. It's so goofy for a game that's trying to be all serious and shit. Do I think the game would have been better received if it uh, scrapped the edgy themes, swearing and guns? I mean, that's what the game is. If, the, if you drop those, then the game isn't the game. <laughs> it would be a different game at that point. So glad your mom bought you. Oh, fuck. Uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy instead? Yeah, we're talking like things at Metroids you can play on the Wii. It's like you can buy Other M or the Metroid Prime Trilogy. Oh, man. Which one am I gonna pick up? Three amazing Metroid games or that? It would be Sonic Heroes 2. I don't know if it would be Sonic Heroes 2 explicitly, but it would probably be a similar type of game. They gotta make the 2D Metroids more accessible officially. Aren't they all on uh, Nintendo Switch Online? Like the original Super uh, Zero Mission and uh, Fusion, aren't they all there? 2D Metroid is way better. I agree. I, I prefer the 2D Metroid games over the 3D ones. Metroid 2 is also on Switch. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot about Metroid 2. I never really played the original Metroid 2, so... It easily slips my mind. I always just think of Samus Returns or AM2R. Oh, shit. Wii U is a Metroid machine? Yeah, but my Wii U is too busy being a dust collector. games do I have on Wii U? Uh, you probably know the ones. Oh yeah, this weird thing. I don't know why they do this for this. You still have to heal all the guys instead of just putting a goal ring here. Silver fan, I don't know what you just said, so I'm gonna say no. Lost World Bayonetta 2. Well, I didn't buy Lost World on Wii U. I got it on PC. Uh, but you know, Mario 3D World, the Zelda remakes, uh, Smash, Splatoon, uh, the, what else is on Wii U? I don't even remember. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Rizzing is like flirting, uh, then no. <laughs> I don't need to be flirting with my viewers on stream. That's weird. It means to mesmerize? I, I don't understand the kids. I don't know what y'all are saying. I'm old man. Did I play Xenoblade Chronicles X? No. I do find the naming scheme of the Xenoblade games to be a little bit weird. Oh, look at this. What the hell? Where is this taking me? Wow, look at that. That's a cool hidden uh, red ring location there. 
Oh yeah, the devs are still watching at this. Uh, I love the new locations for the Red Rings. Uh, all the new areas and like side platforming stuff you guys have added. Very cool. Much better than the keys in the original game. Do you get anything for getting all the Red Rings in this? Is there a reward for that? Because you don't have to open the key doors anymore. Riz is derived from charisma. Romantic charisma. Okay. I see now. I am old man that is learning the ways of the youngins. How do you do, fellow kids? I mean, I've never claimed to be a kid. <laughs> Old man reconnects with new generation. Let's not go that far. I don't do no Fortnite dances or none of that. How old am I? 695 years old. Seems like the aspect ratio gets fucked up anytime I use Chaos Control. Would I do a TikTok dance for a billion dollars? Sure. I'll take a billion dollars, why not? A billion bucks for my integrity? You can look at it that way, but you can also look at it as I do shit for money that I don't want to do all the time. So, do I want to go to work for years and years and years? Or do I want to do a one minute dance and then I get a billion dollars? That seems a lot easier. I'll do that. I don't want to do either, but that one's much faster for a lot more money. <laughs> Do I drink the blood of the youth to stay young? Uh, no. I am just timeless as it is. Mind the clock right now? I mean, this is work. The YouTube channel is work, in, in a way, of its own. I'll lose all respect around the internet? That's fine, I don't need that. A couple of years ago, the internet didn't even know I existed, and I was fine then. I witnessed King Arthur in the round table. Uh, you know that King Arthur's not real, right? It's a story. I barely had that anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even that much of a name, so whatever. So what? I'm surprised that you guys didn't delete that block and just force me to do that jump. So I forget. In the normal expert mode, I think you do have to do the- God damn it, I can't get the shadow cannon. What the fuck? Fucking bullshit. I think in the normal game, you do have to do all these towers, right? In expert mode. Pretty sure? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, you do? Okay. Was oh, King Arthur working with Transformers or something? Is that the plot of some shitty Transformers movie?
is a genuinely cool aesthetic? It is! I already said it before, but much better cyberspace than Frontiers. Witness Moses part the Red Sea. See, what you mortals always assume is that if someone is immortal, that means that they were there for all the important events. Look, man, I can't be everywhere at once. I didn't see a lot of important shit that happened. Being a better cyberspace than Frontiers isn't hard. That's true. That is definitely true. Oh yeah, this fucking thing. What? <laughs> I was reading chat. Was there a hole in that platform that I wasn't seeing? Fuck Christ. Dog shit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, what the fuck? The laser wall didn't disappear fast enough. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> How much is left before I think I fall off? Uh, well, the channel is probably gonna die when I stop covering Sonic, so... That'll be that. I think the actor who played Black, Black Doom will reprise him in Shadow Generations? Probably not, no. Oh, oh, what the fuck? That is some fucking mean bullshit. I do not approve of that level design. What the fuck? Kaizo Shadow the Hedgehog. It's not that far away from it. Also, this level is gonna take fucking forever. It always takes fucking forever normally. And Japanese cast usually tend to stay consistent? Yeah, probably. Uh, but for English? Definitely not. How I stop covering Sonic unless Sega stops making Sonic? I mean, yeah, when there's new stuff, I'll talk about it, but... Like, regular Sonic videos are gonna stop being a thing on this channel. New Sonic stuff comes out all the time? Yeah, but not stuff that I care about enough to make a video on. I'm not gonna be doing fucking videos talking about the newest little tidbit of information that was posted in an interview or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Transition to the Mario series? I plan on transitioning to just doing whatever I want. 
I have ideas uh, that I think uh, should be able to work out pretty decently. See if I can do the, the corners. Why I hate Sonic confirmed? It's true. Just ask anyone on Twitter. More Zelda coming soon? Probably not soon, but eventually. Am I going to make videos on Sonic Forces? Yes, I am covering all the Sonic games. It's been pretty consistent on my channel. I don't know why I would stop there. Hating Sonic is in character for Shadow? It's not at all. Shadow and Sonic clearly have a mutual respect for each other. What is my finite number of entries for Sonic was always good? I don't know, just count how many Sonic games there are left. Although I'm also going to be covering some fan games, so... There's actually still plenty more to cover. I am hoping to be done with Sonic by the end of this year. year, really? We're already a quarter of a way through? I mean, there's not that many mainline Zona games left to cover. I'm already... Got, I got Lost World coming out tomorrow. Then Lost World 3DS. Mania, Forces, Frontier, Superstars. And then Shadow Generations by that time, probably. Don't I always grumble about Sonic being the source of most of my views? I mean... It's a little annoying. The thing about it is that uh, bothers me is that I put just as much work and care and time into talking about anything else, and it just gets dramatically less views because there's no blue hedgehogs in it. And that, that's frustrating. There we go. Can I upload a video on the 19th for your birthday? Uh, no. <laughs> Don't trust when Prize says it's coming out tomorrow? I mean, it, it could end up getting delayed, depending on uh, if I get it done in time, but I think I should. This is a very cool level aesthetic. This, like, fucked up jungle. That shit. I do videos explaining the Half-Life series? I don't know. I've never played the Half-Life games. I have to play them first. Does any other level reuse these assets? I don't think so. 
Some of these might be reused for uh, Prison Island a little bit, maybe. Because it's all like overrun jungle shit. Similar textures? Damn it, obviously. Ah, oh, fuck! Camera! Hello? I remember which way to go, so I'm taking the pole. Okay, it's just forward. Can I just... Yes, I can just. This level doesn't feel too modified for, uh, Reloaded. Holy shit, have I never met Spider-Man fans? I mean, I don't know. There's always been a bunch of different iterations of Spider-Man, right? Even within the comics. They have all those different fucking universes and shit. Comfy. Why don't I stream Lost World 3DS? Uh, because I don't want to. Back here. Cream's JP voice is so much better. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you can say that for literally everyone. This hard mode? Yeah, this is expert mode. Uh, but playing on Shadow Reloaded, they modify expert mode to be even harder and a little fucked up. But it is pretty cool still. I am having a good time with it. Except that one part. That one part that shall not be spoken of. Big changes for this level in the next update. See, what I would ideally like to see that I think would be cool, but probably way too much, is if you could completely get rid of the flying and turn this into, like, almost like a recreation of the level from SA2, a final rush. That would be really cool, but that's a lot, and I imagine not feasible. But having, like, parts where you're forced to get off and, like, do the platforming right down there, that would be nice. They demand every version of Spidey to be accurate to the comics. Bro, I have read a hundred issues of Spider-Man comics, and maybe I just read some bad issues by a bad writer, but they were terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that level... Is that even modified? It sucks. That's what you were originally thinking, but yeah, it's not really feasible. That's what I figured. It's just too much. There are too many assets that are not there, and, like, rejiggering the level completely in that way is probably just not a thing that can be done. Hey, that just said that he was late for his meeting with the Chief Secretary of Japan. So Japan exists in the world of Sonic, officially? That's interesting. I never thought about that before. She just straight up references Japan. 
That's goofy. The United Nations and Japan. <laughs> It's a mistranslation? Is that not what she says? I wasn't really listening to the line too much. Sonic politics video? We were joking about that last stream, about uh, the political state of the Sonic universe. Uh, <laughs> but there's just too little detail to work off of. We know that Soliana has a constitutional monarchy. We know that uh, the United Nations, or whatever the fuck it's called, the Federation of whatever the fuck? I don't even remember. It has a president. Uh, Blaze is a princess in her world. Do I like the original version of this game? I do. I do not dislike Shadow the Hedgehog. I think it is a fun enough game. It's got problems, of course. But if you can put up with the problems, I do enjoy it. Am I to do a skate stream? I don't know. Yo, those spaceships. Uh, does anyone else think they look like the... Fuck it, this is a deep cut pull right here. They look like the ships from Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 3, the Quinkin ships. Very similar design. Very similar vibe in that game in general, actually, now that I think about it. The fuck? Just get past you. The camera inversion fucked me up there a little. Oh, yeah, I'm swinging now. It's not doing the... Oh, I see. You don't have to hold the button. It, like, switches between what attack mode. You can either be in just hold the button and have an active hitbox mode, or you can switch to swing mode. Okay. This is different. You know what? I don't want to risk the light speed dash breaking, so I'm going to go do it correctly. Oh, no. Well, it saved me there. Wing Fortress? It is very Wing Fortress. s Online shuts down in less than a week? Oh, no. Won't be able to play multiplayer matches of Kid Icarus Uprising anymore. Because everyone was doing that. That's pretty cool, that hitbox thing. I think you just go back, right? Take a leap of faith here. Yeah, okay, the camera looks down anyway. That's weird. <laughs> Sonic French Revolution in Soliana. <laughs> The shutdown is why Nintendo's doing Luigi's Mansion 2 HD because of Scarescraper. I feel like they're doing it because they want money, because Luigi's Mansion 3 sold like 10 million copies. Hmm. 
Have I played the Sonic McDonald's games? Uh, I played a couple of them as a kid. Why not Port Luigi's Mansion 1, though? Uh, I don't know. What's wrong with Luigi's Mansion 2? Maybe they will Port Luigi's Mansion 1. mind-blowing how popular Luigi's Mansion uh, is all of a sudden. Literally outsold Last of Us 2. Did it? Damn. Fucking Luigi. Oh, wait. I have this. Yeah. Didn't want to do that. You mean it's a Nintendo game? Well, Luigi's Mansion 1 did not sell super well. I don't know how Luigi's Mansion 2 did. I think it did pretty good, but not, like, crazy good. I assume it's just because of the Switch's success and the fact that Luigi's Mansion 3 is, like, the most beautiful Nintendo game ever. Except maybe now Prime Remastered, probably. <clears throat> You'll take a bazillion Luigi's Mansions over Last of Us any day of the week. I mean, I quite like Last of Us as well, but there is a charm to Luigi's Mansion for sure. Am I going to play the new Peach game? No. It very much looks like a little kid's game. Not interested. Don't you just love the Gun Commander or Abraham or whatever he's called? I don't think he has a name. I think he is just the Gun Commander. I know what else looks like a little kid's game? What? Oh, he has a name in the Archie comics? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. be able to get it. Shit, I'm a little short. Hold on. We can fix this. Go, 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 go. I want to get the cool thing. Oh, yeah, we got it. The cool thing, where I don't play the game. Although this is mostly just an automated sequence anyway. Gun Commander is better than Zavok? He is? The Gun Commander is a better character than Zavok.
Whoa, cool skip. That's not a skip. That is completely intended. Uh, in the normal game, there's a key there that you can only get by doing that. I just realized that Gerald is the same actor as Eggman, just doing an even older old man voice. Where the hell do I go? Is that to kill you? Do I have to go out there manually without the platform? Is that what you're asking me to do? I think it is. Oh wait, this is how this is normally, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is normal. How's this turret moving so fast? If you just hold the A button, it goes faster. That's in the original game. Think this is the way forward? I'm not sure. It's like impossible to ever know where the fuck I'm supposed to go in this level. Nope, not the way forward. You know the Omochao gun, that but Zavok? Damn. Can I get this? Yeah, I can get that. Easy McPeasy. Uh, I need a platform for that. the hell is going on in chat? People are arguing. I'm gonna have Laura put you in time out if you keep arguing. Yeah, Laura's a, a moderator. Zavok hasn't appeared in anything since 2019? Is that true? Wasn't he in, like, the comics? That wasn't 2019, was it? I just take this. What other Deadly Six members deserve attention? Uh, none of them? <laughs> we have plans for a Zavok movie? Please, no. Don't do that to me. Zaz, Zaz sucks. All of them suck.
Jeffock should be the protagonist. Alright, final set of levels. I hate the movies anyway, so Zavok should just be more noise. It's true. In fact, I would like to see Zavok in the Sonic movies. Why not? Why not? It seems like these later stages are significantly less modified than the early stages. Braga and Hisia not here? Uh, I guess not. Tree was here earlier. So was Hisia. They both left. What is? They might be mods, but at the end of the day, they're just more viewers. They have no obligation to watch. How many mods do I designate? I think I have... Four, right? Sonic Movie 4 be their own thing? I don't know if there will ever be a Sonic Movie 4, honestly. Considering how poorly blockbuster Hollywood garbage has been doing lately, if that persists by the time Sonic 3 comes out, it might not do very well. And then that'll be the end of that. Not to mention they're releasing the movie around New Year's. What's the problem with releasing a movie around New Year's? But the last two movies did well? Yeah, but just in general, movies like that have not been doing well. Ah, let's take this route. There's just not a route. It's probably blocked for expert mode. The movies did well. So did Marvel movies for a long time. And then that stopped. <laughs> Deadpool 3 is coming out this year? Yeah, we'll see how that does. There hasn't been nearly that many Sonic movies. There also hasn't been nearly that many Indiana Jones movies, yet the last one flopped horribly. Because I think audiences are just tired of that kind of big-budget Hollywood slop. This is new. 
Whoa, hello. Okay. This is very new. What the fuck is this? This thing can't jump for shit either. Okay, I see. Oh shit, I mistimed the fucking press. I should have just mashed it. Oh, I see. This is in case you die. So you can kill that thing. And get to the platform and get its gun. Oh god. Get the gun! This is weird. Oh fuck, I fucked up. I fucked up! <laughs> you watch Sonic X? Yes, watch it in Japanese. The English version kind of butchers it. Oh fuck. Probably put some rings here, guys. Because if you come into this after dying, it could be a little something. Honestly, you should probably put a gun there instead of the mech. Okay. Skill issue? I mean, I did fuck up. I would have done it first try if I didn't mess up. And that moon texture looks terrible, but the aesthetic here is pretty cool. It's like the, the battleships or whatever. There we go. This mode is actually hard. It is. Karaoke party with the Minister of Finance. And she did actually say karaoke. That was not a translation thing. Oh. What songs will they be singing? Probably Live and Learn. We know that the president loves Sonic and Shadow. Remember when the most expensive movie was 8 million? Can we go back to those days? Considering how 100 million dollar movies are flopping, we may be going back to those days. stories over actual movies. I mean, in general, I would not agree with that. I don't think most video games have very good stories. Neither do most movies. I guess that's true. I mean, it depends, because most would mean you're accounting, like, everything. There's a lot of movies out there. It's hard to quantify movies as a whole and how well or poorly they tell a story. But video games I'm much more familiar with, and they definitely do not have good stories for the most part. Sick, I could just jump to the end.
being is the fact that you control a character makes it more interesting. I mean, it depends. Traditional storytelling, non-interactive storytelling can be extremely engrossing and engaging. Good video game stories are probably in RPGs. I wouldn't know because I don't play many RPGs. Can I just sneak in there? I can. Cool. Vengeance is the only good Metal Gear game. I played MGS5. I thought that game was super fucking fun. Good luck with the hardest level coming up. What's the hardest level? Is it just the final one? Final... Whatever it's called? Final Haunt? What's the last level? The Last Way. Did they revamp the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this? I don't think so. I think it's pretty much the same. They improved the melee weapons. Yeah, Telekinistic, man. Surprisingly, this game, physics-wise, is one of the better 3D Sonic games. It's very strange. Ever played DMC5? Yes, DMC5 is the best action game I've ever played. Comfy. I should make a video on the story of chess and its intricate mechanics. Well, I'm a beginner when it comes to chess, so I can't do that. As for story, it's an abstract game. It has no story. Much improved wall jumping. Very appreciated. Oh, they got rid of the shadow box here. Oh yeah, so it automatically, uh, lava gets raised here. That's fine. The level's more fun when the, the lava is raised. This is probably one of the best levels in the game. People were asking me what my favorite level from this game is. It might be Lava Shelter. This level is pretty fucking cool. The level design here when the lava is raised is quite fun. Yeah, it can't go that way anymore. That's a weird choice for Reloaded. Got it. Could barely even see. Uh, it's the Shadow Androids. The lower polygon Shadow Androids. Yeah, this level's great. Yeah. Big fan of this level. If they were going to add any level from Shadow the Hedgehog, this might be the one to do. Very cool. Plus, there's no Eggman base levels at all in Sonic Generations, so having one in Shadow Generations makes sense. I really like all the 
levels with lava, do I? Perfect. Perfectly timed chaos control. Skips a massive chunk of the level. I should do a full playthrough of Reloaded the day before Shadow Generations drops to celebrate. I mean, we're playing Shadow Reloaded right now. You hated Eggman Land and Unleashed? I like Eggman Land. Oh, this fucking level. Normally, this level can be a pain in the ass. There's a teleporter here. Oh, dude, did you guys add skips to these fucking sections? Sick. Wait a minute. Okay, I see, because I saw that ring trail there and I didn't really think about it. But I see. I see what you want me to do there. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Holy fuck, look at this platform. Oh, oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. Okay. Whoa, what is this gun? I have never seen this before. What is this laser gun? What the fuck is this? How do I not know about this gun? There's a platform here. Oh, I fell. Shit, I didn't jump. Shit, the platform spun out from under me. Wah. I actually could have made that without even jumping. Ah, oh, they moved! They moved! I need to take some time to, like, see the movement patterns of these fucking platforms first. Before I start making big old crazy jumps. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, look at that fucking platform. <laughs> this is some goofy shit. Camera! It's okay. We got it. We made it work. This is some level design here, but honestly, this isn't that far away from what I was reading chat. I figured we were good. I wasn't good. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that would work. Fucking hell. What artificial chaos is there? I'm used to looking away at chat all the time when playing these fucking 3D Sonic games because of all their goddamn automation. How could you all ask me to play the game? I'm still weirded out by this gun's existence because I, I do not know it. Keep watching the screen. It's not over yet. Yep, yep. Got another one of those. Fuck, I missed it. Oh, but that's just a high route. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That feels like it's pretty much vanilla.
can't believe I forgot this gun existed. Did this gun, is this just a gun in the game? I do not remember it at all. You can pick it off of gun mechs in the Black Comet stage. I, I must have like almost never picked this gun up then. This feels pretty unmodified from normal expert mode. Which is cool, because this is one of the best parts of the game, honestly. All these big old crazy cool slope jumps with the platforms spinning around. Very cool level design there. The camera... Don't love that, but it is what it is. Is there any more bullshit here I have to avoid? No, we're good. Invincibility? We're good. We got it. We got it. Got that one. Uh, camera? Oh no. Okay. I missed that hoop there. I think this is also unmodified. It looks quite familiar. Dog oh, shit. I thought I could sneak under that. Okay. Where am I going now? Camera is not really showing me much. All right, there we go. Oh, definitely not making that. I shouldn't have jumped. This game has better parkour than the actual parkour focus game. I mean, it's just platforming. Some of the realest platforming that's ever been in a 3D Sonic game. Oh no. Shit. Try taking leaps of faith? Yeah, I mean, I'm just like... It feels like a level designer would have put something here. So, I'm sure I can jump off at this point. It's fine. Overshot. Way overshot. I say the SA1 spin dash? No, it's not. Uh, but you can still do some craziness with it a little bit. It's a little more tame, though, actually. Minus the weird behavior of it when you go off a ledge. And how you can't, like, smoothly transition from spin dash to running. I quite like this game, spin dash. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, now from here. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't make it. Is Frontier Spin Dash stronger than SA1? Oh, absolutely. Frontier Spin Dash is game-breaking. Well, I guess the SA1 Spin Dash is also game-breaking. Game but Frontiers is more so. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot to jump there. Ah, 
how did an interaction between Shadow and Cream go in my mind? I mean, it really depends on the context of what that interaction would be. Fucking hell. <laughs> I keep forgetting what to do here. I think you could make, uh, fun interactions between Shadow and Cream. Just casual? I mean, even just casual. It's like, what's the context? Wh how and why are Shadow and Cream even in the same place? And why are they compelled to interact with each other? You need a scenario to build out the scene properly. There we go. Fuck! I did it too late. Shadow and Cream tea party at Vanilla's house? Well, now you have to justify to me why on earth would Shadow go to a tea party at Vanilla's. Justify that somehow. And then we can get going. Shadow is Cream's gun safety and structure. Uh, guns are no longer allowed to appear in the Sonic brand, so that is uh, not valid. Okay, this time. Nope, too late again. Shit! Cream invites him because she thinks he has no friends and he goes not to be rude. Shadow don't give a fuck about being rude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let that one pass and I'll get it on the next go around. Voltrix, Shadow don't give no fucks about Maria. You know what I just realized? Hold on. No, that's way too far. Close, though. Close, though. Would I have a tea party with cream? Absolutely. You hope Shadow is still a gun agent in Shadow Generations? It would be cool. I will guarantee you he's not. Shadow was only ever a part of gun in Sonic 06 and nothing else. Blew Got it. Didn't get it. Actually overshot it that time. Fucking hell. No, I'm real chaos. Uh, if you talk to the NPCs in uh, Shadow's campaign in 06, they're very explicit that Shadow is an agent of gun that works for them. I just caused you to lose a bet. I'm sorry. I'm sucking at this. Fuck, did it way too early. Way too early. This is just like that section with the barrels. This is nowhere near as bad as that. I'm just sucking at it. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, 
You don't think it's fair to say Shadow completely rejects Maria's existence? It is if you pay attention to the story of Shadow the Hedgehog. You know that part at the end when he throws out the picture of her? Yeah, he really still cares about her. The part when he says that he hates his past. Such a long ass stream. It's not that much longer than normal. The physics do not look like they feel fun. They actually do feel pretty good in this game. I'm just being bad. You thought this would be fine with a normal lives system? Oh dear god, no. No, you were definitely right to give infinite lives here. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> Gauging the distance I need to do that is quite hard. Your design philosophies have changed a lot over this project. So is this level also going to be different in uh, 1.2? I don't think the design here is like fucked up like it was in that one part in the amusement park level. I just, it's quite difficult what you're asking for. Fuck. Shadow be like, my past is a bunch of stupid sci-fi cliches, let's never speak of it again. I mean, that's one way to word it, yeah. I'm not gonna get that. Ah, shit. <laughs> Any levels in a Sonic game I feel are criminally underrated? Uh, the cyberspace levels of Frontiers. What about Shadow's characterization in Prime? It's, uh, it's okay in Prime. Uh, I'd say the biggest problem with Shadow's character in Prime is that he doesn't like Sonic, which is not really a thing. Okay. There we go. I was just doing that stupid. Okay, this is fucked up with this camera, but I got it. In Prime Shadow's defense, it's Prime Sonic. No, it makes sense in the context of Prime Sonic, but if it was normal Sonic, it would be inappropriate. Shadow tells jokes in Prime? Yeah, I mean, that's just the writing of Prime. Everybody tells jokes. That's just how it is. Oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> Do I have to kill these things? <laughs> so this is a pain in the ass. Dup. <laughs> I 
There we go. I just had to kill those two. Shadow cracks a few jokes in this game. Does he? When does he crack jokes? I know nothing of no joke cracking Shadow in this game. Oh no. The funny candy line? A, that's not a joke. B, that's not what he says in Japanese. Japanese doesn't matter, you're an American. Tell that to the guy who wrote the story that his version doesn't matter. Shadow's best characterization outside SA2 is Battle and Archie. I would actually say this game is uh, one of my favorite characterizations of Shadow. I think it does a really, really interesting thing with uh, his character. They they pull off the amnesia thing quite well and do an interesting thing with it and expand on the character of the original Shadow from SA2 in a cool way. That lets them bring back Shadow but also respect his death in SA2. I'm a big fan of it. Really? Y'all haven't watched my, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog story video, clearly. Shadow Shadow over SA2 Shadow? Well, you need SA2 Shadow for this Shadow to work. It, it's just a continuation of the character. I don't even need that. I just need to be here, right? Maybe I do need to kill them. SA2 Shadow clears this game? You just don't know. You don't understand the story of Shadow the Hedgehog. This game it, it, uh, follows up SA2 Shadow's character very nicely. And actually improves some problems that SA2 Shadow has, in my opinion. So what does Reloaded change? We should have had a counter. We should have had a counter. We really got to start having counters for when there's a, a piece of news or everyone keeps saying the same shit. <laughs> we need a counter. I think it might be a five. Oh, it's definitely over five. You're not sure what Reloaded changes either? Damn. Forgotten what the original game is even like. The voice direction, overall dramatic tone of SA2 was so cool, though. I mean, this game has uh, quite a dramatic tone as well, especially in the last story. And it's the same voice acting if you play in Japanese. Which game console am I playing on? I am playing on the computer. The personal computer. If 
Shadow is Vegeta. Who is Sonic's Yamcha? Uh, I don't know if Sonic has a Yamcha. I'm trying to think, what was Yamcha's character originally? He was just like some asshole, right? <laughs> He was a thief? Oh, okay. He was a thief. I guess if you want to draw comparisons, then Fang might be appropriate. Oh, I gotta kill shit. The fuck just happened? Why'd I do that backflip? Oh, it's because these guys are sucking me in. Oh, shit. Nux is clearly Piccolo. Oh, yeah, obviously Knuckles is Piccolo. For sure. For sure. Oh, God damn it. Imagine if instead of comparing Sonic to DBZ, it had JoJo's instead. I don't know almost anything about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so I can't say. Oh, there's a check one there I missed. about My Hero? Never watched My Hero. I agree with you, Demetrius. Would have been better if they gave us two or three games before Shadow came back. Yeah, I saw that Emerald Chaos. Never considered it before, but once he says it, you're like, yeah, that checks out. Back in original Sonic, when Tails was actually characterized like a child. Tails doesn't act like a kid at all anymore? Yeah, I mean, whatever. You can blame Shiro Maikawa for that. When Tails went for child with a uh, knack for mechanic stuff to super genius. seen Helsing abridged? Uh, I think a couple episodes of it.
Oh, fuck. There we go. It's almost like it's Final Haunt again. It's almost like this level just reuses the assets from Final Haunt and, uh... The Doom? No, no, the Doom is one of the Ark levels. What's the other, other, uh, Black Comet level called? That level. It's all just asset reuse. Shit. Oh, fuck, really? You think Japanese Tales still talks like a child? Yeah, but he's not, like, characterized like a child. Oh, God. I have a feeling I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. Holy shit. Give me a gun. This is one of those guns that don't have auto-lock, though. Holy shit. Fuck. Can't collect my, uh, my rings in this mod. Only in expert mode. Which is a pretty brutal change. God damn it. I feel like I'm fucking kiting zombies around right now. Now suddenly it feels like I'm playing a shooter. Ah! Strafe? I don't know if strafing there is going to work out. There's a lot of shit flying at me. I need more mobility to dodge. I actually want to grab weapons before I get there, I think. Give me your guns and ammo. In fact, can I just get chaos control? Just fly past that part? I can! Oh, god damn it. I started breaking bad yet? Nope, not yet. I've been spending all my free time playing, uh, Helldivers 2. Seeing you've been playing a telekinistic man, we should play, uh, together at some point. Watch the first episode and I'll be hooked. That's what people tell me. Yeah, I have a better idea for this. How about that? How about that? Oh, fuck. Really? You guys had to put the fucking vacuum bitch there? I'm with you, Telekinistic Man. I did not really think I would care much for, uh... Helldivers 2 and the kind of game it is. But no, it's actually quite fun. Is there a way to do that and not get hit? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Slope jump made me go down. Oh, 
What the fuck? I'm questioning this design choice just because I do not know if it's physically possible to not get hit here. It's possible to not get hit, get a gun. Oh, well, let me just get... Oh, there's a gun in this box here. Well, how about that? <laughs> Fuck me, I suppose. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Strafe? Okay, I'll try strafing. <laughs> So that worked out great. Yeah, I enjoy fighting the automatons more as well, Telekinistic Man. What just happened? I just did that. Jump. I mean, you act like the strafing. Oh, wait, look at that. Getting rid of that green smoke gives me a full dark meter. Problem is, though, that when I'm in dark mode, I can't get light meter. But at least it cleared out all that crap. Hype for the new Fatal Fury? Uh, we'll see. I've never played a Fatal Fury before. And I haven't really been playing a lot of fighting games uh, very much lately. But if it's cool, sure. No, I think that's it. I think we're done. Nope, nope, we're not. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> Thoughts on Dragon Ball Fighters? I didn't really like the game. Three, two, one, come on. What the hell is this? I can't skip this. What the fuck am I looking at and listening to? Is this... is this... should I mute this? I feel like I should mute this. Is this like copyrighted music or something? 
Oh, it's a Japanese commercial for the game? Okay, then that's fine. It might need muting? Maybe? I don't know. If it's for a commercial, it should be okay. I have never heard this song before. But you think I'm right? Okay, then I'm gonna mute that. <laughs> The music is pretty nice, though. I recommend go listening to it. This is a commercial for Shadow the Hedgehog? The hell is this? <laughs> what? The Japanese marketing team was like, what the fuck do we do with this game? This doesn't appeal to our market. So they came up with this. <laughs> this looks like a weird Space Channel 5 thing. Will I ever do a 24-hour stream? No. I value my health. So no. I'm uh, sorry there's no music for this. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> this is just like uh, that Crash Bandicoot Japanese commercial where they're all dancing. Except it's all these weird golden... What? 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 <laughs> That is the strangest fucking thing. <laughs> Pepsi Man's golden relatives? This seems like it. What the fuck? This is the DreamWorks dance number finale? Yeah, kinda. Everyone just go pull up the commercial music in the other tab and you'll you'll be recreating the experience here. Oh, it's not over. There's more commercial footage. Dude, this like crazy frog tier CG going on here. I I can't handle this. This is fucking bizarre as hell. Oh, is it just looping now? <laughs> Should I have listen to Crazy Frog in the movie? No, no, that's way too old. Kids don't know what Crazy Frog is. Oh, nope, new footage here. We're not done yet. Shadow trapped them in the box. <laughs> okay. So that was that. <laughs> oh yeah, we can have audio again. There we go. So that was Shadow Reloaded. Definitely overall, I think, a good improvement to Shadow the Hedgehog. Some of those level design changes in expert mode are questionable to me, and some of them are just flat out bad. But overall, very good. Very good project. Definitely recommend this to people, and apparently they're still working on it. There's going to be a 1.2 version, so I guess look out for that in the future. Uh, I guess uh, that'll be it for today's stream. Uh...
Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to uh, the devs of Shadow Reloaded for stopping by. Hope you got some good feedback from this playthrough. Um, and I guess that'll be it for today. Uh, Lost World review video should be up tomorrow, most likely. Uh, and then maybe I'll stream again on Thursday or something. We'll see. Don't know what I'll stream, but we'll figure it out. Uh, later, everybody. Thanks for stopping by.